live? Apparently. Cool. I don't even uh, know. I'm well, not, hello. I didn't know you could see up. us. Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I'm setting up the stream. I was still setting yeah, up the stream, anyway. but apparently we're good to go. So, hello. No matter what I said, I still love no, you. Yeah. Hear us. We're, we're muted. I haven't even turned <laughs> oh, Twitch goodness. on yet. Oh, they could see us. I just, we were muted. Yeah, they just oh. they couldn't hear anything. <laughs> now we hear you. See, I said is... so many terrible things. Yes. Yeah. We, I we will not repeat. I'm over like, no, here no, eating a potato chip. I'm like, oh, man, they can see that. I thought we were on the starting soon screen. I apologize. We were not supposed to be visible, but hey, there you go. Hey, Thanks. it's uh, it's Tuesday night. We've been playing traditionally Tiny Dungeons Jungle Tomb Mummy Bride on this night, but yeah. it's a special night tonight. It is, or today, it is the release of, I'm going to say it wrong, but uh, Man Mangaush. Yeah. Mangaush. Mangaush. Mango we looked it up the other night, how to pronounce it, and... Uh, it was like, yeah, it was like Mon? Ma I don't know. I say main Mon gauche and I get laughed at. But uh, released officially today on Amazon. Uh, so, in honor of that, we are playing the adventure out of the back of the book titled There's Something About Marie. Ooh, that's Woo! funny. And I think we have we have uh, Zweihander veterans, except for Evan down there. This is going to be his first... Uh, Foray, foray into Grim and Perilous, so it should be fun. We'll see, uh, see how he Why does. I? Veteran, <laughs> as in I was dropped in a war zone and then given Ugh. a medal for surviving it, like out of nowhere. I was asleep yeah. before that happened. So I guess if that's a veteran, then yes, I'm a veteran of Zyander. <laughs> you are a veteran. You survived, veteran. didn't you? No, I died. Uh, no, yeah, no, I died too. I yeah, tried I to play by alignment and save someone and then died. Never do <laughs> that. Never I know. Uh, Grim and Perilous, not whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't have. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is a new game that we're playing, and I just realized I don't have the actions uh, in this game. Does everybody have ac access to the actions? So I'm going to do something here in the background. While you are introducing yourselves, I have to dig for them. I will yeah. put it in the Discord for the group of you. So I'm going to go around here. I'll let okay. everybody introduce who they are and what they do and what they got going on because most of these people are creators or creative folks and they have things that they're doing. So I like to let them do a little bit of self-promotion and pump their stuff. So I will start to my left. Jeff, you are up first while I mess around in the background with stuff. Okay. And I feel like I've been playing too many games. This will be the fourth time in two weeks that okay. I'm plugging myself. Right. That's all right though. <laughs> uh, uh, in just a couple of weeks uh, on Drive Through RPG, I'll have a supplement for Zweihander. It'll be uh, Leather, Steel, Blood, and Bone which will cover uh, piecemeal armor, uh, injury charts per individual body part, per weapon type, a bunch of new drawbacks, uh, and some other combat options. Um, yeah, that's a couple of weeks. Adam Rose was an advisor and rule mentor on that, and Ken Duquette uh, is doing the layout and the uh, cover art, so I'm pretty excited about all that. And the other one that I've been working on is an adventure for Dark Astral, uh, Shadows in the Deep. Um, it's coming. And yeah, I was just going to say, I'm not <laughs> sure when that's going to be ran, and it, that, but uh, at some point here. Not this uh, week, but probably next week. Yeah. Because uh, I have family okay. in town. So there's no game this Friday. That's why on the stream okay. calendar it says Matt off. Yeah. Okay. That's all I'm plugging. But tonight I am playing. I need like three monitors going here. I will be playing so uh, Sawyer Wintermere, who is a rake. And I don't know. If, well, I guess we'll probably wait for a little better character description. That's all for me. That's all you're going to give us? Okay. <laughs> That's well, all. I can, I can describe him. We're going to go, go ahead go and do Go for it. Let's do it all right now. Okay. Do okay. character description. Um, yeah. He's a human male, uh, about 20. His clothes look very fine, but maybe very fine a year or two ago. They're quite dirty and ripped up some. Um, he used to be of a, uh, well, he was of a highborn uh, upbringing, but uh, has gotten himself into trouble over the last year with a little too much gambling. And uh, his father and older brother told him to, don't use their name again. Uh, uh, otherwise, there's going to be some dire consequences. So from now on, he just calls himself Sawyer. A uh, little gambling uh, problem, but he's decided to uh, take up with these other guys to hopefully make himself a little money. Maybe dig himself out of a hole. Nice. That's Sawyer. Good, good luck, Sawyer. 
you are up against some odds. <laughs> uh, very good. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, then, below him, we have Leland. Leland, what do you got going on? You're a busy guy. Uh, sure. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you are. Come uh, on. Don't, don't downplay it. Oh, <clears throat> uh, no. I am not that busy right now. If the Kickstarter's not going on for or anything, I'm actually actually pretty relaxed but <laughs> but uh uh but no uh you know i always try and plug zombie orpheus just to help them out because they have a twitch channel too uh check them out they play on right now it's mondays and thursdays at uh, 6 p.m pacific um and they play a lot of savage worlds various other systems kind of similar to this channel but it's in a studio with some um some actors that have done some films and stuff. Check it out on YouTube. Probably seen some other stuff. Journey Quest, Gamers, the Gamer Series, stuff like that. Anyway, it's good stuff. Worth checking out. And also, me, personally, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And I play on this channel, like, what, 20 days a week? <laughs> yeah, so. I was going to say, like four <laughs> days a week. He's here. He's playing. I'm going to plug this everything. channel. Quite addictive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yep. All right. And then, oh, and my character. Uh, I'm playing a pugilist whom I played last time and didn't realize he was a nice guy until halfway through the game. So I'm going to play him as one from the start. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have uh, the heroic, I believe, is one of my uh, alignments. Did not see that till mid game. But um, anyway, so my character was, uh, you know, just a, a, a boxer who uh, one day, you know, after many fights, was paid. Uh, pay to lose and due to his pride and all this stuff he couldn't do that and he came came at the other guy really hard and accidentally killed him and ever since then he kind of changed his ways and is trying to trying to be a better person um so uh and he stopped boxing for money and and he thinks fighting should only be done and for survival now so and he's got to find another way to make money and being able to kick ass is only good in so many professions he doesn't like war, so here he is, adventuring, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> what an honorable fellow Posey in and... such a grim and perilous world. Oh, I know. I know. Hey, cool. you, blame the, you blame the boss, Daniel. He's the one that gave him heroic. I wouldn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pre-gens for us. Yeah, it's yeah. random. Yeah, that's cool, though. <laughs> All right, I'm going to jump up and over to Sean. Sean, I know you have a whole bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, um... Uh, I'm Sean. You can find me uh, over at EN World. I do freelance uh, RPG reviews and, and articles and think thought pieces. Um, although, actually, I probably need to do another thought piece at some point. Um, I also am a uh, game designer. Uh, kickstarted a couple things earlier this year. And I'm currently working on one uh, project for Chaosium. Uh, and I'm working on a couple, actually, Zweihander uh, adventures for the Zweihander library. Uh, one is a larger sort of epic campaign called In All Guises. And the first book of that is uh, probably around October, I hope, um, called The Children mm -hmm. of Sun and Moon. And a, a smaller sort of generic adventure um, called Minstrels of Morning, which is more horror and mystery based. Uh, also working on uh, a 5e uh, adventure for an anthology as well and a bunch of other oars in the fire um, or irons sorry irons in the fire wrong way before <laughs> uh, tonight i'm going to be playing um taro she is a bravo she's fairly arrogant um her clothes are okay um she never really stays in any place long enough because she's always making enemies um and uh she has red hair she's got a scar on her face um and but is generally a upbeat individual uh and always looking to challenge someone to a contest drinking fighting chess darts uh sexual hijinks whatever it be no, but she's a bravo. I don't know if I mentioned that, but she's a bravo. So. A bravo. Bravo. All right. And Evan, this is Evan's debut on camera on the channel. He, he said we'll played he, was, before. he used to do streaming and stuff on his own channel, but he's, he stopped oh, he that. 
but it's his debut. Married, you know. <laughs> do yeah, you have, so, do you have um, anything going on? I don't have anything going on, but yeah, I play in the jungle tomb of the mummy bride. Yeah, as our chain smoker. But um, I'll be playing Adelaide Amora or Addie. She, I'm going by what a, whoever put this in last. I'm just going with it. So she is a highway woman because she's not a highway man. And she was an aristocrat, so she was in the noble house, but uh, her house kind of like fallen in favor and a lot of them have separated. So she's kind of been abandoned for many years. So she wears, you know, some garb that could give the way, give it away that she was in a noble house, but she covers her face up and kind of hides her identity to an extent. But she has a fascination with romance novels and love. So that's not in there, is it? It's, yeah, romanticism is my alignment. Oh, okay. Alignment. I was like, romance so, novel? <laughs> I'm just kind of winging I, up. He's like, just good on the improv. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, I didn't, I didn't pull a lot of that stuff in. I read <laughs> all, the, all the critical. Yeah, exactly. This is kind of the same with the fight thing. I, I just saw her, heroic. I'm like, who the yeah, hell would but, you be heroic in this game? <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's awesome. I okay. Guess, I like all these characters. Cool. Yeah, they're good. All right, so I will do a brief rundown just as a reminder for everybody about the basics of this game. So I will start with fortune and misfortune. You guys have fortune points equal to the number of players plus one. That's what those five gold coins on the table are. They can be used throughout the game. It's a it's a resource. It's a pool that you guys share. So it's not like one per person. You guys can use them whenever you want. What they can be used for is... Rerolling a failed skill test, but you have to take the second result, whether it's a failure, a critical failure, or whatever, you have to take the second result. Uh, you can use it to gain an additional action point during combat, and I linked you guys within our Jungle Tomb Discord um, channel the combat actions page, so you guys can all have that handy, because I forgot to put it in this game. So I'll give you an extra action point in combat. You typically have three action points that you can spend amongst those various things in combat so it'll give you an extra one and finally you can spend one of them to give you the result of a six on a chaos or fury die and remember in this if you roll a six on a chaos or fury die it explodes and you get to roll it again if you get another six you get to roll it again and again and again so sixes are really good because that's going to make sure you do more damage to your enemies so fortune points can be used for those three things when you spend them they then become misfortune points here i'll flip this one and it becomes mine and i get it and i get to use it for the exact same purposes but once i spend them they're gone they don't go back and forth there's no tug of war in this game like there are is in some other uh role-playing games so just be aware as soon as you spend them i then get it, it becomes a misfortune point and i can spend it on the exact same things for my npcs and i will use them some games i don't use them but in this in Zweihander, it's too much fun not to use them you know, when I'm rolling damage against you, against, you know, just yeah. like expand it to have a six, you know? That's that's what yeah. I'll put it to use. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing you have is fate points. Everybody has one fate point. Fate points are it's not represented anywhere on the table. This is your get-out-of-jail-free card. Uh, if you die, you can spend your fate point, and you are alive. It doesn't happen. If you gain an injury, you can spend a fate point, and that injury is gone. Injuries are deadly they are lethal in zweihander so you do not want to gain an injury it is not a good thing at all um next up we have i got my little rundown list here from gen con that's what i pull out every time to reference when i start a game uh after doing that crits crits are doubles in this game so crits happen more often than most games and that's crit successes and crit failures if you get uh, a critical or a, i'm sorry a double on a roll below your target number, then that's a critical success. If you get a double uh, above your, your target number that you're trying to roll, uh, it is a critical failure. So say your target number is a 50. So you want to roll under 50 on a D100. Evan, this is new for you. It's a D100 system. You always want to roll under your target number. So if you rolled a 44, that's a critical success. A 33 is a critical success. A 22 and so on and so on. If you rolled a 55, 66, 77... And so on, that's a critical failure in this game. Ones and 100s are also critical successes and failures. So the chances of getting a crit in this are much, much higher. Um, and last but not least, we have our damage and peril thresholds, which is your 
hit points and your mental hit points. Your physical hit points, your mental hit points. If you look at your character sheets, um, for each of you, it is on the first page, on the skills and attributes, is your peril threshold. So that's your your mental attributes. And as you take damage or, ment or peril damage, you go down that little track underneath it, unhindered, imperiled, ignore one skill rank, ignore two skill ranks, ignore three skill ranks. So as you take damage, you start to get worse at things, or at least mental damage. Everybody starts at unhindered. You're fine. Uh, on the talents and trappings page, the next page over in your character sheet, that is where you have your physical damage thresholds. And it's the same thing. It's got a track, and you go down as you take as you take damage, and you can gain wounds. And wounds, again, are deadly, and you do not want them. Uh, the only other thing to note, and that's not on my list, but we have a new player here, is you have traits and talents, and that's what makes your character stand out from everyone else, are your traits and your talents. It's what makes you unique. So you definitely want to pay attention to these and understand what these are because they're going to be very situational for your character when they're going to come up and when you can use them. And when you can use them, they're going to be extremely powerful. Um, you're playing the how Highwayman, right, uh, Evan? Yeah. So for you, you have, for example, you have Stand and Deliver. You may substitute your Charm skill in place of Intimidate, um, if that's higher, in place of any skill required to parry. Oh, and you can also use your Charm uh, in place of your parry. So if your Charm is higher than your parry, that takes over that. It should already be programmed in your character sheet. You won't have to do that. Uh, for your talents, let me see what you have. You have, what would be handy for you? Hmm. Silver tongued? When you attempt to persuade those of a different social, social class other than your own, you gain a plus. Okay, so that is something that's very situational. Um, social classes are important in this. So your social class of your character was an aristocrat so if you try to charm anybody doesn't matter if it's a above or below you but aristocrat is like the highest uh mm -hmm. you get uh, uh, an increase to your base chance to try and charm them because you're such a, a charming lady um so that'll help you and that's one of those situational modifiers so that'll be a benefit to you and that is the basic rules. Did I forget anything? I'm going to turn to Jeff because Jeff's like the <laughs> residence why I'm your expert more so than anybody else here, including uh, myself. That's a pretty good rundown of the basics, I think. Yeah. That's yeah. the the need to know. Yeah. Right? Like you said, traits and talents. Those are key. Those are key. Definitely key. Those yes. are what make you special. Yeah, what for sure. Do. Combo off of each other, too. I did that last time. I got. I tried to put someone in a chokehold. They failed, but then I got an attack of opportunity on them because they failed. So it was like I, I set up the situation with one of my talents to be able to use another. It, it For sure. Cool. Yeah. That's why I wanted to play this again because I want to do that some more. And pugilists are ridiculous. They're crazy. I feel, yeah. I feel like in a game that's dangerous like this, crowd control seems like that. It seems like it might really be useful, like grappling and stuff, like stopping enemies from killing everyone i don't know why everyone gangs up on it i feel like that's pretty probably pretty handy i don't know or at least I think, runs <laughs> I, I, yeah yeah I, was gonna say, I think in a game like this you kind of want to avoid combat as much as possible oh of course yeah, <laughs> yeah. because it is so deadly be it an injury or wounds or anything okay do we have any questions Negative. Roll with it. All right, let's go with All it. Right. Let's jump into there's something about Marie. All right, so the four of you have been traveling on a river barge down the river Basque for the last few days. You are heading to, oh, the nearest city to go trade find work, find jobs. And we're going to say the four of you have been traveling together. You're, you're a little a band, a companionship, uh, a group, a adventuring party, if you will. And uh, you're, you're traveling down the river together. Uh, it is autumn. It is, it is a cool October date. It is the 11th of October. And you guys have just uh, stopped over in the uh, small, small, oh, it's not even a town. It's just like a, a little, a dock 
and a few people, but uh, you've stopped in a, in a little place by the name of Lloyd's Beacon. Um, it's you're stopping there for supplies and to uh, to rest. This is not your barge that you're traveling on. You're traveling uh, with someone else who owns it, and you've just kind of paid your way on here because it's the cheapest, safest way to travel in this region. There's been rumor of mutants and orcs and such rummaging about. You've heard of some some terror happening over in uh, Vorburg that there was a terrible orc attack that took place, but some some folks uh, managed to stop them. Uh, sp specifically, a little halfling by the name of Waldo was uh, mentioned to have uh, stepped in and uh, intervened. People aren't too sure of what is going on there. Uh, might have been... Uh, hey, what's going on, Oak? It might have been witchcraft? Some sort of pact with the devil? Or he was just a silver-tongued little halfling? But he managed to uh, stave off this orc attack and from them burning down this village. So you guys figure river travel is the best. Hey, Lowdown Fool, how's it going? And Sean, thank you for the subscription. Sean, who's playing in the game, just subscribed with his Twitch Prime subscription. <laughs> thank you, sir. I got to mention that because I noticed that a couple have dropped off. Twitch, when you're using your Amazon Prime membership, it does not remind you every month. It'll just drop off. So if you do and you want to consider using your Amazon Prime membership, um, you may have been one of the few that have dropped off. And we'd always appreciate uh, your subscription if you'd like to resubscribe to us if you're enjoying the content. So you guys have stopped over in Lloyd's Beacon, and you're milling about. And like I said, this is a tiny little. It's just a, a stop on the side of the on the side of the the river. There's like the population is twelve. Like this is there's nothing here. <laughs> it's some docks, uh, like a shop. It looks like there is uh, an outpost for some reeves here, who are like like guards, hired guards, reeves. Um, but other than that, there's really not a lot going on. The the person who owns the barge uh, is a uh, is an old river merchant by the name of Rutger. Uh, he's a little gray-haired, jovial man, and uh, he's told you that you have an hour to mill about before you hit the uh, hit the river once again to continue on down towards your your destination. So. Is there anything you'd like to do or check out in Lloyd's Beacon for your little one-hour stopover? Does anyone here have, uh, is there, like, is there a tavern of any kind? Anything? There is, like, nothing. Like I said, it's a population <sighs> of 12. Not there's, even a tavern. There is no tavern. <laughs> there, there are peddlers milling about, but they're people who are taking advantage of this little rest stop along the way. I think it was, like, a little gas station rest stop, right, down the highway. That's all this really is, is just kind of like a stopover, a layover point where people resupply, restock, <laughs> they kind of rest. The, um, so, yeah, there's just little peddlers, and they're selling, like, trinkets, like, Things that you would peddle to to tourists. Like, they're asking way too much for cheap knickknacks that are made mm -hmm. far away in mass numbers and are completely worthless. So is this just like a riverbanks? Uh, is it hot out? Like, what, what time? It is it? cool. It is So it's autumn. Mm -hmm. So oh, it's okay. a cool autumn day. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, it is it is the Sorry, it's the 11th, 11th mm -hmm. of October. Um, it's, it's chill outside. You can tell that winter is going to be coming early this year. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I'll get out and stretch his legs at least. Yeah. Maybe look for, oh, possibly a luck charm that maybe someone's hawking. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so you guys start to um, you start to leave the barge and you're walking down the docks. And as you're doing so, suddenly you can hear like a crash. Like something being knocked over, followed by angry shouts. Hey, hey, get back here. Hey, where's he going? Quick, catch up to him! Where, wait, 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 where'd he go? And you see, crashing out from behind some some barrels and boxes that have been piled up on the dock, you see a wiry young fellow dart from pile of crates to pile of crates. And he proceeds up the ramp and is towards your barge. And he's panting heavily. And he keeps looking behind him and his, his eyes are darting from side to side. And he staggers up to you, panting and holding, holding his his side and he goes help me help me they must not catch me I, I i have to find a place to hide please you guys looking what? at him you see uh he's grasping his left side and there's a blood stain on his jerkin 
Addie is reading. So just... <laughs> Who's that? Who's yeah. that you, boy? Uh, 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 there's some 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 men posing as Reeves. They're they're they're, they're not who they seem. They, please, I, I please can you can you you must hide me from them. I have I have important information. I must I must carry on down the river. Can we uh can we get a sense if he's lying or not? That is a great question. Why don't you um go ahead? Everybody can. It doesn't doesn't have to be just you. You can go ahead and um Oh, you can make me a easy scrutinize test. Okay. So Evan, what you do is at the top of your character sheet there, you see there's a difficulty rating chart running across yeah. it. Uh, you would just click the difficulty. So I said easy, so it's a plus 20. And then you go down your character sheet and scrutinize is under perception. You just click the scrutinize button and it'll do all the calculations and adding for you on the character sheet for the roll. So on yours, I'll just Whoa. walk you through how this looks. So on yours, Evan, I'm going to scroll up so the... Your, percep- your base perception is 50, um, but because the difficulty is easy, uh, it gave you a bonus. So you actually had to roll under a 70. So see how the rating on the right there is 70? And then your actual yeah. roll is on the left. So you passed. You want to roll under that number to the right. Gotcha. About how old is this kid? He looks like he's in his early 20s. Okay, and there's um, uh, people chasing him. About how do, can you can't, I see you can't see anybody just yet. He's claiming that there are some there's some reeves chasing okay. him yeah um, once i get a good read of him and at, with based on my role then i'll decide but uh being the her- heroic character <laughs> that i am i'm probably gonna try and help him so sure so uh yeah everybody except for taro is like this kid's genuine like he looks terrified he's bleeding and he needs help taro you're not so sure you're like ah, it can go either way here <laughs> Yeah, if everyone f- else wants to hide him, that's fine. But uh, mm-hmm. you know, I um, you know, I uh, see, I'm not sure if I have a cloak or anything. Uh, but yeah, everybody who passed, you 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 feel that you well, you know he's genuine. Like he is panicked. Main gauche is the shit. There you go. <laughs> I like how that's in the chat too on the overlay. Uh, is there an obvious place besides, I mean, to hide him or so would the barge barrels, be maybe the there's best? There's boxes there on your, on your barge itself. Old Rutker, he is actually carrying um, casks of wine down the river. So you're escorting him as he brings his wine. So there's big casks filled with wine on your barge. There is... Um, boxes everywhere there's nets there's things strewn about all over the docks and you're still on the docks Addy will kind of slowly put down her book kind of look at everybody and say I will buy us some time if you want to try and hide him and she'll kind of just stand at the docks waiting to see if these people these guards come up yeah so you stand there and you're looking over the direction he came from and you see four men four reeves and they're poking about and they're milling about and um, they're led by one who's got a, a big black scruffy beard and a big pot belly. And he's getting in people's faces and you see him grabbing them and questioning them and shoving them aside when he's not getting the answer he wants. You can't really hear them, but they're like interrogating and, and bullying people as they make their way up. I'm, I'm going to, as soon as I, my character notices that, I immediately uh, just grab him by the the wrist or like the forearm albeit probably a little too forcibly uh and just sort of start dragging him onto the barge sure to find uh to find a crate to put him in sure yeah you want to bring him onto the barge and i say uh must hide you immediately the, those unsavory fellows will surely kill you and throw you in the river because oh thank you thank you uh, you guys have three minutes i'm gonna say real time you need to find us spot now for him to hide you need to find all a right. convincing one he goes, all right okay please please stash me away and 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 i'll answer all your questions a- after please y- you must not let them find me though it is it is critical it is important all right um yeah i mean what what, what would i Ooh. i, I want to take him to the barge itself and kind mm-hmm. of look and so your barge uh, is a it's a pretty open barge uh it's got low walls on the side of it and it's just like lined with casks of wine that you're taking to this this city down the okay. river 
well, uh, I'm going to try and kind of knock on some of them and try and find whichever one might be empty if there is, is an empty one or whichever one might have the least wine in it. And just yeah, tell them the you whole, start knocking whole on them frantically and they all seem full. He's on his way to sell them. You notice though, when you're knocking on them and he's got them standing next to you, he's leaving a trail of blood behind him onto oh, the barge okay. now. Well, that's no good. I'll go ahead and, and start cleaning the trail of blood up. Sure, and what suggest, would you like to use to clean the trail uh, of blood? I will use... I have a handkerchief. Okay. Um, ah. It's a lot of blood. <laughs> start just it's kind. a lot of blood? Okay. It's, um, yeah, it's trail of is blood. Is there like reeds he can grab a reed and do the whole water trick maybe on the other side of the barge? Yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah, we uh, water skin. There are, there are you reeds poking about. There's, there's water here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try and buy time if the guards try to come up the barge. Like I'll like try to go down the same time they try and come up. Yeah, if, they're like while this is happening. I'm watching real time. You have two minutes left. Two minutes real time to come up with I'm something. I'm just gonna so. shove them in so, a damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I don't, I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna drag them quickly to the furthest cask I can. Yeah. Uh, the one that looks the most concealed. Um, from yeah. their uh, line of sight, and I'm just gonna pick one of them up dump some of it out and shove them inside and put the top on and tell them to hold Sure, sure. So uh, you're going to pry the top off of this thing? Try to. Uh, I have a... Uh, damn, I have knuckle dusters. That's yeah, thing. But you're, you're, <laughs> not going to work. You're a strong <gasps> fellow for this. Yeah, I'm pretty strong. You're, you're a pugilist. Strong. Yeah, I'm pretty strong. 50 uh, brun. 50 brun. So just go ahead and make me, uh, make me a routine brun uh, roll, I'm going to say. And that'll be to pry the top off because this is kind of it's it's hammered down in place and it's it's set in there. Oh, very nice! You pry it off and you you dump it over onto the yeah, onto just the deck. Spill, and spill it's just some of it out so it has a little bit of breathing room, you know. Yeah, and it also starts it spills and it actually like kind of washes away some of the blood as well yeah. that he's trailed over here. <laughs> uh, and so you say, get in here now, right? Or you just pick? I just pick him up, <laughs> pick him up and throw him in, and <laughs> yeah, just uh, sort of help him lift him in, you know. Yeah, and you pound the top back on. So there's still there's a trail of blood leading up to this spot. You did clear some oh, of the way with we'll the blood. I want to tell him something first. Ooh. I want to say, um, hold your hand on your wound tight. Just before I tell him, and so he's not just he's, like bleeding out. Okay, okay, yeah. don't let them know I'm here. You must not, must not let them know. And I'll say I'm gonna look to Tara and Natty. See, maybe, oh, maybe one of you ladies come with me, and we'll make a distraction. Yeah, I'm already waiting for you to come down. I'm waiting okay. For you to come up. Sure. And so there's still blood on the dock leading onto the barge. And Taro, you were wanting to do something with that or no? Uh, yeah, I will go ahead and, and that's a good idea. I'll, I'll grab some of the wine and like a cup and I'll start washing some of the blood away. Um, but I'm also going to cut my hand and then wrap it, uh, something around it. Um, so I, I'll be drinking some wine and I have a bloody hand uh, and I'll be standing just sort of casually on the barge. I'm going to be his drunk companion. <laughs> all right. All right. I like yeah. it. So Taro staying on the barge. Cormac, Cormac is staying on the barge, but Addy and Sawyer are going to go and try and intercept these reeds. Yeah. I like it. Very okay, good. I'm kind of we whispering. Our, but do you have a minute. plan? Or? We are at our three minutes. So <laughs> they have made their way over to That's perfect. <laughs> Sawyer and Addy. Maybe um, faint so like said, or whatever you got. There's four of them. There's one. There's one guy who's leading the charge. Like I said, he's got a big pot belly and a big oh, scruffy black beard. And he gets up in the face of you two. And he goes, "Hey, we're looking for a young kid. Made his way through here. He's bleeding out everywhere. He's dangerous. He's a threat. Where is he? Well, where did you? Where did you go? Sir, are you interested in romance novels? No, I'm not interested in romance novels. Get out of my face. Say, oh, calm, calm. I I just finished this. I would like to give it to you as a gift. I don't want your stupid book. That's kind of rude. I mean, I, I don't even know who you're talking about, and you're just yelling at me. I'm just trying to give you a book. Uh, and we saw no bloody child run around. Yeah. Um. Do you want to? Do you want to try and charm? Are you trying to charm him, Addy? Yes. To, okay. Go ahead and Sounds make me like... a standard charm test, please. Okay. So I get the plus twenty, right? Because I'm I'm silver tongued. Yeah. Yeah. You do. So I put it at easy, right? Yeah. There you go. Oh, boom. Nailed nice. it. He, 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 he looks at you and he kind of scoffs and he goes, 
Like I said, ma'am, there's a dangerous criminal coming through here. He's by, by the name of Udo Gebler. Have you seen him? I don't have time to look at your, your novels right now. But you could take it for now and read it later? Ah, and he snatches it and he shoves it into his tunic. But no, we have not seen this. I don't know who you're talking about, person. Oh, the blood leads right here. Oh, well, that gentleman cut his hand. I mean... That's a lady. A little too much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you're I, I, I'm sorry as well. <laughs> I, I, when I hear that, I, I, I take my hand off and I bow. And I say, gentlemen, lady, I answer to them all. <laughs> and I, but I hold up my hand and show uh, the guard that, indeed, I have cut my hand. Okay. Um, Cormac? No, sorry, not Cormac. Um, the names here. Addy and who is Sawyer. You right. notice as you're speaking to the sergeant and also his men, they are carrying stilettos. Stilettos are not the type of weapon normally carried by a Reeve. It's usually carried by a more uh, underhanded um bandity kind of person it's not it's not a uh considered a, a honorable weapon so you do find a little unusual that he uh that they're all carrying um stilettos if you want you can even make me a um no that's okay yeah it's it's an underhanded weapon you're, you're, you're so you, this this seems a little off the situation also how about yeah how about like their uniforms i don't know if we would know this is a new area to us. Anything other details? I mean, once the, we notice that, anything else that just legit. looks doesn't look right, like yeah. you know, no, the uniforms look legit. They they okay. check out. Um, but just the, the weapons they're carrying do seem off. Sir, is it possible you are lost? I am not lost. He turns to his men. Check every one of these boats, and they. They're closest to yours, so they kind of push and shove their, uh, themselves out of the way, and they get up to the right. the entrance of the boat there, Tara, where you are, and they start to make right. their way onto the boat. And yeah, and we'll say check as you will. It is not our boat. They're greeted by Cormac, and well, when when he uh, when the when the guards comes up, I will not get out of his way. Exactly. So when he mm -hmm. bumps into me, he I spill the wine in the cup on him. Okay. And, uh, you. Sorry, sack of boats. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, ma just, just don't worry about these fellows. They're, they're doing, only doing their job. Isn't what? that right, fellows? You clumsy drunk. Get out of my way. And they shove you. There's we no need for that. Now, now, yeah. Whatever your business is, make it quick. This is our barge. Yeah, they get onto the barge and they start poking around and looking and... They start knocking on the various barrels and such, but you guys did uh you did a pretty good job of washing away the blood there with the wine and such that it does not point towards um any of the barrels and you smeared it quite well when you spilled that barrel of wine all over the barrel. Sar sarcastically say, Yes, yes, they're made of wood. <laughs> they just kinda shoot you a look. Uh much and like their heads. Their heads are made of wood. Oh, yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't agitate them. Quite saucy. <laughs> and full of pudding. Would you gentlemen like a drink on your way off the boat? Yeah, yeah, they'll turn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They don't, they don't turn it down. They don't, uh, they don't Pour say Pour one no out of that. the cask we were drinking out of, you know? Sure. Let them you, have you the mug, give them all a, a little bit of wine, and they <laughs> down it, and they get back to work. What exactly are you looking for, anyway? We're looking for a man. Udo Gebler is his name. Never met one of that name. Uh, I'm, I'm sure once you have enough coinage, anyone could be Udo Gettler. Yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> but yes, um, yeah, no. If, if I that's your fancy. Know, what's he look like? Ah, uh, young fellow. Uh, boy, wire, wiry sword, long red hair. He came this way. He, was, he, 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 he had something. It's important for information we need. Ooh, maybe he's a good swimmer. Have you checked the water? We'll do that after we finish the barges. Good you idea. stay here and don't go anywhere till we're done. Any I'll of do you. what I damn well please, but that's fine. I, you should go check the water. Yeah. 
grunt at you and they head on to the next boat and they they leave without finding this this boy and they make their way to the next one and the next one and the next one and you can hear them hollering and harassing other boat and barge owners as they they make their way down safe to say that uh, i don't think we were meant to uh join the the this squad so i think we made the right decision in helping the boy yeah <laughs> i don't know just me these guys don't don't seem too uh too friendly old redger comes comes skipping on back like i said he's a he's a bit of a jovial old man and oh what's going on here what's the trouble what would one of those what do those men want oh uh, they were looking for someone uh we drank a bit of your wine oh that'll come out of your pay yeah that's fine <laughs> okay Take it out of, uh, just take, never mind. <laughs> I, almost got, I almost got a little heroic and then I remembered only having six coins and I was like, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to, um, I, so is Rutger someone we trust? Oh yeah. You've been on the, on the river with him for a few days and he's, he's an honest, um, man making, hey, making and selling his wines. Come, come here. I've noticed something interesting about this wine. I believe it's uh, developing in a certain way. Might make uh, might make its value go up. And I just oh. go in as like sort of a prank. Op- open the thing and there's like a kid inside. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> pry it open and yeah, he's it greeted open. by the sight of this kid whose mouth is foamed up with blood. Oh, no. And uh, <laughs> drink too much. does not seem to be moving or breathing. Uh, well, he opens it. And it's full of blood. Good oh, he, he, the light hits his face, and he lets out one last gurgle, and he goes, "Mother!" And he oh, and he chokes on his tongue, and uh, more foamy blood comes out of his mouth. My, my character just sort of steps back, like, now? "Um, I I swear to you, he was alive when I put him in there. He he was running from those men, and um, uh, what the hell, yeah. you?" doing to my wine oh. uh, i don't know we <laughs> easy to easy we, we right now this kid he said he had information uh, maybe he had it in uh there's a parch- dead kid maybe it's in there parchment or something. Yeah, yeah i know i can see that yeah <laughs> you can uh you can make me an easy heal test um just kind of looking at him all right assessing the situation i assume everybody's sort of crowded around yeah you so. guys have all like uh, uh i try not to be too obvious but oh shit I want to try to keep my eye on the Reeves too. Yeah, they're they're further down the docks and they're poking okay. around, okay. And they're harassing other people. Nah, I still fail. It looks like. I have no idea how he died. He was perfectly fine earlier, just bleeding a bit out of his side. Yeah, no, none of you can really tell. Uh, oh, the can cause I? Other oh, than sorry. A stab wound. I can... Yeah, you can roll an easy. Heal okay. All right. Sorry. As well. Ah, it must have been the stab wound. Do you assume? Unless Sawyer here is uh, nails it, I get lucky once in a while, but not no, today. Yeah, it must have been that <laughs> damn stab wound. So he's he's hunched over, he's dead, he's bleeding into the wine. Uh, but you do see he's clenching uh, some sort of scroll, a scroll case in his hand. We might want to wait on that until <laughs> it's a little more private time. I look over to the author of the group. Yeah. I'll Wait. grab it. Ah, oh, a love letter. <laughs> Mind just the kind of nonchalantly, though. I'm not like trying to like you know be obvious. I'm just like sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. Not gonna read it now at all. I'm just gonna. Yeah, as soon as we're done, as soon as we pull that out, I'm gonna kind of just gently set the top back on. I'm not gonna sure. put it back into where I have to pry it back off later, but just for did, now. Did you want to read that now, or you want to hang on to that for later? I'll wait till we get on once we're the boat's moving. Sure, sure. So you guys are there for a little bit longer, and then uh, old R- Rudger. Uh, all right, let's let's head on down the, the river. Uh, the next uh, the next place uh, down the river is Minute, but uh, I don't think we'll be stopping there. We'll head on to the city, and you oh, guys don't. make off. And it's um, it's mid to late afternoon at this point now. Hey, are we gonna just dump him over the side? <laughs> He's acting uh, awfully calm about the dead body in his wine. <laughs> He's fine with it now, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> uh no i assume uh i want to search his pocket some more you know and make sure there was no there was no other information or whatever yeah i'll read the note too and i'll you know say it's my, a small prayer for him 
I don't know sure, much about sure. Yeah, yeah, you say a small prayer, and you you rummage through his pockets and all that. And he's not carrying anything uh, other than this note. It appears, and within the um, here I'll sh- got a little handout here for you. Within the scroll case, there is a note scribbled in there. It says, "Expecting Witchstone to arrive in Minute on the thirteenth aboard the tin the Twin Trout." U G are the initials. Wasn't that's not his name, right? He was Udo. What was his last name? Gebler. Oh, it was him. Okay, so he was trying to write this for somebody. Yeah. So, like I mentioned at the beginning of this adventure, it is the eleventh today. Witchstone. What you guys know about Witchstone is Witchstone is a very rare, very valuable, and very mm, possibly evil chaos related toward material. It's very but it's it's worth a ton of money. A ton of money if you can get Witchstone. It is very rare. Perhaps we should uh, take a detour. <laughs> well, we could always jump ships, right? Get off this one, stay in Minute, wait for the Twin Drought, hop on that. Sounds good. Yes. Read a few books. That's right. <laughs> so don't, you guys don't know much about that, but mm. <laughs> okay, not all. We'll go drink. Here. Yeah. So you head on down the river, and as you do so, it gets surprisingly, it gets more. And more miserable out. Heavy rain begins. It oh, it's always raining in Zweihander. It gets like I said, it's already cold. It's it's autumn. It's cold out, and a heavy, heavy rainstorm starts up. And as you're heading on into the night, um, Rudrick is oh, we're we're gonna have to stop. We're gonna have to stop, Manu. We can't we can't continue on for the night. This is too rough. And he's making his way down the river, and the waters are getting choppy and such. And um, it's hard to see. It's terrible visibility. There's dark clouds everywhere. The winds have picked up. And um, it is now a serious thunderstorm that is taking place. He ends up um, actually hitting some rocks and damaging the boat and on the way there. And he, uh, he, he shouts out, Ah, we're still about an hour out of away from Minute. Minute? Or you say it. Uh, <laughs> minuet, I think. Minuet. minuet. Probably, fr- probably French. No French. Minuet. Then it'd be minuet. Oh, um, there you go. <laughs> eh. If anybody wants, does anybody want to um, pitch in on a navigation or pilot role to help guide this thing to its destination sooner or, or safer? So, navigation. Um. This is another new thing for Evan here. So, Navigation and what was the other one? I said pilot. 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 Those. Where is pilot? I don't see navigation. Oh, there pilot, it is intelligence. Pilot is under agility, and navigation is under intelligence. So both of those have a little asterisk next to them, and what that means is you can roll any skill in the game you want. Doesn't matter if you have points in it or not. You can roll them. But if it's one of those skills that has the asterisk next to it, when you roll it, you have to flip it to a fail if possible. So say you roll a 17, you have to flip it to a 71 if you're not trained in it. If you don't have any points in a skill that has a little asterisk or star next to it. Gotcha. But you can still succeed. You could roll a 11, right? That would Either way you flip it, that's going to be a success or a 22, um, even like... 10 well untrained pilot check here we come let's so let's you guys hit the, hit the shores he, he asked you to, to to jump in and assist and help oh, all right sh- so cormick <laughs> <Shit. Cormac. laughs> i'm like oh, let me take the wheel i had a bit of he expert o- get the hell. he opens another barrel of, just... of wine and starts drinking oh <laughs> we're done for take the wheel. he's uh, all thumbs <laughs> Yeah, and one of my thumbs is broken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody. He asks you all to pitch in okay. as the uh, the okay. winds are howling and the the waves are lapping. And he already struck a rock once. Oh, oh! Quickly realize I'm too oh nice. To do it and pass the wheel off the uh, these two. <laughs> oh, you guys still had it at easy. This is standard. I, oh, I, I apologize. Oh. So yeah, re roll both of easy. you. Yeah. Yeah, at least I, I rolled mine right. You did roll yours right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 61. Oh. So we'd flip I that almost... to a 61. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Boy. <laughs> that stays a 96. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Uh, am I waiting <laughs> on one more correct, one? Is that everybody? That's everybody. That's, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're no uh, help to him. He's like, he's shouting at ours, grab those ropes, you, get over there, hey, get a, uh, make sure we don't hit those rocks. We can't afford another, to strike a, another set. And you guys, I'm boom, a dirty land lubber. crashing and throwing <laughs> yeah. around, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And just as you guys are at the point where you're ready to give up, you can see a faint light from a toll house up ahead on the river. Ah, there she is! We just might make it! We just might make it! And he's heaving, and he's he's guiding the boat through the winds. And uh, he ma- barely manages to uh, to dock at Minu. Uh, you're greeted by a cloaked uh, tollkeeper. He comes on over. He hobbles on over. He's got he's got a a limp. He limps over and. It's dark, and he's got a—he's holding a, a staff with a lantern. You can't really see his face. It's swaying and it's windy and it's dark. And he greets uh, the—he greets the group of you. He goes, "Oh, welcome to Manu Travelers. Grace be to the God Emperor. You made it here safely. I am Herman Truman, the tollkeeper. Don't you worry about them tolls now. We can settle those in the morning. If you be looking for a place to spend the night, I recommend One-Eyed Jacobs on the west side of the village." But the only place open this hour, too. And it's like two in the morning at this point. And the wind is howling. And the rain is pounding. And he's helping uh, Rudrick get the boat in and tied to the dock. And he's shouting over the wind, uh, giving you directions where you can head for the night uh, to escape the, the elements. Thank, thank you, good sir. Yeah, we can come see me in the morning and we can clear up your toll at that point. No need to be having money exchange hands in this conditions. You keep speaking of money, sir. There's a damn catastrophe happening right now above us, all around us. So let's just go take a nap and then we'll talk. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. But at two in the morning, it's just a nap. You're not going to sleep. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) Exactly. Um, have we have we dumped the body yet? I mean, uh, no, I don't know. Did you? Uh, uh, we can uh, we can wreck on it. You guys are heading down the river. It's a joke. We dumped the body. Does that count? <laughs> uh, what, when when you failed your rolls to help with the boat, you just kicked that, kicked it over the edge. Yeah. Oh, we lost. Oh no, we lost some of the wine. Yeah, we gotta light the load. Oh, no. <laughs> Guess we don't have to pay for that one. We should make sure we weight the body though if we're dumping it, so that way it doesn't float. Oh, good point. That's a good too, it might be too late. <laughs> yeah, well, we're already recording. I mean, come on. The yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, what's that? Hey, we lost what's one more rewind the gonna? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, well he can't we found sell in the that. Middle of the night, wash up on shore. I mean, technically, he can't sell that wine. I don't know if he's going to, but he shouldn't right. sell that wine. That's his business. Oh. He can do it if he wants. True enough. <laughs> This is like the dark ages. No one realizes that that's a big deal. That let's throw, get the body out. Oh, there's no more body in here. Right. I mean, how do you think the plague <laughs> happened? But yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. But there's perfectly good wine in here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that k- kills all the blood uh, humors. <laughs> <laughs> you guys start making your way through the village. He pointed down one of the roads. It leads right to it. Um, most of the 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 buildings. This is a very very small town or village on the the riverside. Um, most of these are one story buildings or houses. There are a few shops here. You as you're passing through the streets, so you do see a number of boarded up shops that have been closed for looks like uh, quite a number of years. But uh, dead ahead down the main thoroughfare where he pointed, you see a two story building where there's a light coming from the windows and you can see the shadows of, of people milling about and you start to make your your way up closer and uh, you see a sign swinging with a jack of spades wildly in the wind uh everybody go ahead and make me an easy folklore test easy folklore sorry don't apologize <laughs> it's all good wow that's it's oh, gonna now. take a bit to get Find the button stat as in which skill. Oh, oh critical fail. <laughs> it's alright. This isn't something you really need <laughs> to matter about critically failing on. Yeah. 
Uh, so those who passed, yeah. Uh, you when you see the sign, it dawns on you. You've heard of One Eye Jacobs before. This is actually a very well known uh, inn, which is also a brothel. It is known <gasps> for its. Uh, it, it's quite. Um, it's quite infamous. Uh, this place, One Eye Jacobs, the stop uh, along the river. Uh, I don't like hearing the words brothel and infamy in the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good. Uh, Chaos <laughs> alignment is what I hate, right? Uh, yeah. Like, oh, fuck. It's, uh, <laughs> so, so you get to, there's a big door at the end and you can hear people talking inside. You can hear music playing in there. And yeah, there's a big door there. Do you just want to come on in or you want to knock or what do you want to do? I'll walk on in. Yeah, if it's the only place open, we need a place to stay. Sure. Let's yeah, head yeah. on in. So you I'm open put, the door. I'm going to put my hand wraps on before I go in. Oh, look point. at you. <laughs> Knuckle dusters here. He's ready. <laughs> oh, no, not those. Just the hand wraps. Just uh, I don't want to touch anything. I just want to. <laughs> oh. <on> <laughs> <laughs> For sanitary purposes, huh? Yeah, exactly. Once they tell me the, the stories of this place, I'm like, oh, okay. Never oh, do you tell every? Did you tell me what it is that it's a brothel, or no? Oh, did no one pass? Never mind. No, no, yeah, never passed. passed. Yeah, I, uh, never mind. I, I happily say, oh, I, I know this yeah. place. Oh, a place to sleep. <laughs> I refuse to stay here. Uh, I'm a woman of my status. Well, was status. I cannot condone such behavior with you know men and women. There are plenty of women of your former status in here. You can just bed with one of them. Oh, no, I will be finding... You can find me outside. I'm not staying in there. I will stay out in the rain. I don't <laughs> the care. Howling wind and rain. <laughs> I will read my book in the damn rain and all my pages will get wet, but I'll finish it. Oh, uh, that's not smart, huh? You know... Y- take you're my not, cloak. Y- it smells. You're not, you're not defined... <laughs> you're not, you're not going to, like, brave the elements and expose yourself to danger because of your chaos alignment. You would, you would rule in this situation like, hey, I don't like it. But I would rather be inside sleeping out of the rain and the cold than... This is the only place. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So what if we get your room and we go right up to the room? And you won't have to this. mingle with anyone there. I have blinders on. There we go. There <laughs> we go. Distract all the prostitutes. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> they resent that I, term. I haven't heard... I don't know. As far as I know, this place is great. I, yeah. I, I critically like, fumbled ca- that hey, Guys, this, this is a casino. <laughs> yeah. It's a gambling <laughs> den. It's a casino. It's, it's well known. Well, well, when are riches here? <laughs> uh, I'm ready. Right. Uh, so you go to you open the door and it is boom stopped as you start to open it, like with a like it like it's hit a wall. Slowly, it starts to open on itself, and you're greeted by this big and it's very similar to our guy who's in the cyberpunk game, uh, bouncer, big <laughs> okay. mean looking fellow. And he eyes the four of you up and down, and just kind of. Is there any chance, um, uh, since I've probably been in a lot of places like this, is there any chance I know this guy? Um, how so? What are you pulling on? Like, what, what, where, where, or how would you have maybe known of this fellow? And then we'll go from there. Well, um, since I've been run out of so many towns because of uh, relationships with people, um, maybe I had to. Uh, work, uh, or maybe I, I had to uh, work with him at some point. Maybe I, I guarded a few brothels at my time. Uh, mm. That sort of thing. Moving from town to town, as as I do. You're the Bravo, right? right. Yes, yes, he is yeah. the Bravo. That makes um, sense. Pissed off a lot of husbands and wives, I'm sure, over the years. I'm gonna say no, <laughs> no. This is just some hot, like local muscle. Basically, they've hired the biggest guy in town to watch the door. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, he lets out a grunt, but he steps aside and lets you in. And there's All there's right. people everywhere. There's, there's a card game going on at a table in one corner. There's a uh, there's some music being played by some minstrels over in another corner. There's people sitting at tables drinking, and there are there are. Brightly painted prostitutes sitting around and milling about and entertaining people, like sitting there at the card game, um, chatting up folks and dancing to the music and such. And 
As you come inside, two two brightly painted prostitutes, speaking of which, introduce themselves. Oh, hello, I'm Julian, and this is my friend Vivian. And they offer to take your wet overcoats, and, and they show you right over to a table immediately. Please come sit down. So, sit, we're going to get you a drink. You Oh, you look so cold and tired. Where did you come from? Where have you been? Please. I'm so sick. Can I get a room? <laughs> could, could we possibly pay you to yeah. not interact with our friend over here? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I'm so tired. <laughs> she's had a rough day, and she's had some traumatic experiences, I imagine, in places like these. With she's like right reason. bed, if you can see, like, her cheeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they pick up on it, and they go, oh, okay, a little shy. Uh, and they go, no, no worries. And they they kind of stay away from uh, from you, I, but they interact with the others. I don't believe it's shyness, ma'am, but, but disdain instead, so... <laughs> <laughs> I believe in true love. Disdain. <laughs> Disdain. Ouch. Um. <laughs> not, not my feelings, though, ma'am. Not mine. Uh, I would gladly love. I would love to gamble. Please escort sure. me to the Sure. Yeah. She walks over and she table. she takes your coat off your your wet coat. She hangs it near the door and she goes, "What? What? What? What will you have to drink?" And she offers up the whole table. What? What can I get you? Uh, goat's milk. <laughs> goat's milk. <laughs> In this weather, in a place like this? Well, it was worth a shot. I always ask for goat's milk. No one ever has it. <laughs> Were you Maybe the one with the, unfortunate, when, with the unfortunate tattoo of the goat squirting milk in your mouth? Isn't that your well, character? Yeah, I think so. I <laughs> Wasn't that, that your, your unfortunate tattoo? Uh, no, but, oh yeah that's right i remember now oh that is this character he does have a, that's right oh my god i forgot all about that yeah oh that's perfect yeah so my character has a tattoo of a goat squirting milk into his mouth on tattooed on the side of his face i completely forgot about that from last game and you've got angina so, yeah yeah all right cool i forgot all about my flaws man they're in different parts of the <laughs> they're, not, they're, they're not written in there i didn't really i didn't like put it in there as much because i figured we'd just get into this Oh, oh man, well, whatever. I've got those things. Then I'm I'm ready for the the face Look tattoo. At this. Perfect. Fawn Sater just gifted yeah. a subscription to yeah. Pixel Prowler. Thank you, Fawn. Oh, that's awesome. I've that cool. is awesome. I've never seen. Nobody's ever done that. It just said that yeah. Fawn Sater is the very first yeah. person to gift uh, yeah. a sub on this channel. So thank you, Fawn. Oh, that's and awesome. I'm sure Jen also appreciates. Jen <laughs> should pay it forward. That's fantastic. Um, you you just gift a subscription to one of the editors of Swihander. Thank you, fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> very much appreciated. Uh, sure. So you have that tattoo. So you ask for goat's milk, and they 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 kind of <laughs> yeah. giggle, That's and uh, <laughs> and uh, go, sure, yeah, yeah, it's your thing. I see. <laughs> yes. Did we did we made any money off of of anything yet? You guys should have money on your uh, character sheets. I, I, okay. I did program okay. it in. I think at least for yeah. most of you. I think I have some of you have three, gold and six, some of you have copper. Oh, I, have, I have like three copper. I have nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Something to please forget this is ever happening. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. buy. I'll buy the ales, the first round of ales for everyone. Oh, there you oh, go. Good. So, so Julian goes off and grabs, fetches the ales and. Oh, he gets your goat's milk, all right. And uh, Vivian <laughs> stays there with you. She sits down at the table with you and says, "Oh, so where, where, where did you all come from? Where have you?" I hate to interrupt, man, but I insist we get the room first for for my friend here. <laughs> Please, um, sure. I'm so sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, of course. You you must be terribly cold. We we could draw you a bath. We could have a special bath if you. If you I think just a private room, maybe. Oh, okay. Just okay. yeah, just some privacy in the room. Some walls with the door. It's like shoving the book in her face, like harder. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, you're sitting there, and she goes, "Okay, well, let me go. Let me go talk, um, and I will get your room. Just, just. Sorry, just wait here. <laughs> I could just tell. <laughs> this um, not so having get, a good time. <laughs> you guys scan the room. It looks like there's some passing merchants sitting around, downing some drinks. Um, I said there's there's some. Folks dancing and singing in another corner. Uh, and you also notice over by the fire, there's a young man. He's, he stands out a little bit. He's got perfectly coiffed hair. And he's sitting by the fire, writing in a large leather-bound book. Furiously, he, he pokes his eyes up every once in a while and goes back down to what he's doing. Um, 
when I get, well, once the ales are back, um, yeah, I will uh, inform Vivian. Is her name Vivian? Yes, that is one of yeah. the the two ladies of the night that are uh, entertaining that my, you. That my boots uh, and my stockings are wet, and I would appreciate it if she would take them off and put them by the fire to warm. Oh yes, of course, and she does that and takes them over there. And then uh, once we have the room, or once I know we have the room, then I'll sort of casually. I uh, walk over by the fire to that guy. Sure. So you're waiting to hear back on the room. So while you're sitting there and she, Vivian takes her boots and puts them over the fire. A, um, a woman comes over. Um, she looks like she's maybe in her late forties, but she's strikingly beautiful, beautiful woman, very confident strolls on over and she introduces herself. She says, I am the madam of this establishment. My name is Dominica. Uh, I understand the four of you are looking for a room. I can, I can help with that. What what brings you here tonight? I'm sick. <laughs> Just passing through the river and things got a bit choppy, so we this was the closest place we could we could uh, dock. So and my here sickness. we are. My, I'm sick. Remember? <laughs> yes, yes, and she's sick. Definitely, Definitely sick. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, we will make you a room immediately i i am so sorry this hour that we are the only place open where you can get a room and she goes over to uh, julian and says oh, prepare a room for this one she's 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 quite sick and she scuttles off and uh so Addie, you get up or i'm sorry taro you get up and you want to head over to the fire where your boots are yes yeah yeah so there's this young pale man he's he's sitting there and he's just buried in this big leather, leather bound book and um He's poking his eyes up every once in a while, and he's furiously drawing and doing things in there. And uh, you get a little close, and and what you do is you you see that it looks like he's 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 doing like drawings. There's there's various drawings on on each page. You got the two pages open, and drawings of 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 a young woman. Uh, but when he sees you, notice that he slams the book shut, and he looks at you. Oh, ah, have you no privacy? What are you doing? I've just come over here to warm myself by the fire. Uh, would you hold my ale for a moment? Uh, I am not going to hold your ale. You're so rude. You came over here and bothered me. No, I came over here to warm myself. And I'll, uh, and I'll like, stick my leg out and I'll, like, do the thing with my calf so my calf muscles bulge a little bit. And, uh, you know, and uh, just make, uh, and I'll say, uh, so do you, uh, you don't happen to write romance novels, do you? No, I don't write romance novels. Uh, a shame. My friend over there likes romance novels. <sighs> a lot. <laughs> a, a lot. Uh, you can go ahead. You can make me a, a challenging charm test if you want. On this young man. He's pale. Fellow. Well-groomed hair. Looks like he's in his oh, mid-twenties. Real bookish sort of fellow. All right, yeah, he, he says, I think this is a good time for me to go to my room. And he stands up and puts the book under his arm and just kind of stomps off towards this up the stairs to the second floor. Can I possibly? Am I there while this? Uh, uh, you're seeing. You're sitting at your table still, but he's uh, okay. gonna walk past the table up towards the stairs to go up to his room for the night. But you, you, I, you watched um, I, Taro go over there and him kind of uh, okay. slam his book and stomp away. I'm gonna. Am I in the middle of a bet or a game or am I like, or am I just kind of hanging out? You're just kind of hanging out. Your drinks have arrived um, <laughs> shortly before this took place, so you're you, the three of you or yeah are sitting there uh, while Taro slinked away over to the fire because you Taro, you didn't you didn't um tell them what you were up to you didn't i want to f- i want to sorry uh, no, go, ahead. go ahead no no go ahead I was no, just gonna say, no, i'm no, gonna I, follow I, this guy yeah i don't tell them what i never tell i i probably never tell them what i'm up to i just right. assume they'll you know they'll just here's i'm gonna go do thing watch me sure i, I want to follow him i want to kind of stand up and casually just sort of Sort of, sort of wander up to my room as well and sort of try and try and see 
maybe where his room is, just to get an idea of it. I'm not going to confront him or anything, if possible. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at chat here. He's a witch. Yeah. Trip him. Careless there, stunt. Yeah. And yeah. then help him up and take <laughs> him to his room. So it's fun. <laughs> like a, yeah. Listen to this. Take a little this. devil on your shoulder, whispering in your ear. Hey, Fawn, didn't didn't one of you catch like anthropy <laughs> cultist? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's but yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get an idea where which room this guy's in. Basically. So you want a tails guy? Self-check are you gonna be something. obvious about it, or do you want to try? You want to be stealth? No. You want? Okay, mm-hmm. so um, yeah, there's not. There's, it's going to not be the easiest thing to do for you, that's for sure, because um, mm-hmm. once you get to the stairs, it's going to be you and him, uh, so to kind of stay to the shadows and fall into his room. I'm going to say well, this I, is a ch- just... challenging stealth roll for you. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not necessarily trying to remain unseen, but I'm also, I'm just trying to go to my room as well, basically, okay. you know what I mean? More like, more like a, uh, I don't know, like a, a deception sort of, or Site so at, at thing, this point, a... you have not been given a room yet. She, the madam, uh, came okay. over and talked to you, but you can you could try to play it off like you are. Like it's not stopping you. You could still be like, oh, I'm trying to find my room, kind of thing. Got you. If What's you want, it's up to you. Is guile? What is the guile skill? Is that? It's like lying. Oh, I like that. I have a so right to you want to yeah. let's 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 do a yeah stealth uh, to try and be unnoticed. You want to try and tail him, yeah. right? So like I said, a challenging I stealth roll. Yeah, it's a good idea. Get get that out of the way, and then if I have to lie myself out of the situation, then I try that. Oh, so you kind of slink between tables, and there's like uh one of the one of the ladies who works here. She's going up the stairs. It looks like maybe she's heading up there to prep a room for you. She's got some linens, and you're walking behind her, and kind of you're you're not noticed as this this young man makes his way up the stairs, and he's huffing and puffing as he goes up there. Oh, oh the, the nerve! I was sitting there, and that woman, that harlot, comes over and bothers me, and he's just kind of nattering to himself. All right. And uh, yeah. you see, he goes up the stairs, and you go up the stairs, and it's just a long hallway, and it, it's mm-hmm. it's like a T, it just goes it left and right, and there's just like rows of doors in either direction. He goes to his room. He he hangs a right. And he goes two doors down, and he, he see him fiddle with a key, and goes in a room, and closes the door, and you can hear the the lock lock behind him. I'll just type in that there, so I don't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's yeah, a gonna... word only a Canadian use. What really nattering? Is that a thing? Is that not a thing? What'd you say? I oh, Fon said word. nattering is a is a word only a Canadian would use. <laughs> I don't even know what you're saying now You've never heard of it what i'm monolingual <laughs> saw okay. i thought you were watching a lot of canadian television leland i, I was, was call you I was. what are you watching i haven't heard that i'm watching <laughs> stuff about car restoration it has nothing to do with this <laughs> <laughs> anyway all right you have to send me a definition that's your canadian um, content for the yeah. night <laughs> thanks uh Wait. during the cyberpunk game uh Cox uh, made note that one of your npcs sounded like like your canadianness got ramped up on it really so, yeah i'm gonna have I to rewatch it. that here i'll put this on <laughs> just for fun there we go hey boom uh, land of the free <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's you guys it. that's that, there's my canadian background i put on when we're not streaming <laughs> that's where i live all right back to the action here sorry back to the grim perilous all right so I want to go back to, to Taro and then let Taro know what room, what room. He's sure. Basically. And then, and and I also want to ask her. Uh, what, what were you speaking to him about? I just sort of followed him out of instinct. I didn't oh, really... uh, he just seemed so out of place. I thought I'd see what he was up to. He, he's drawing. Uh, it's a book of uh, sketches. He's drawing a young woman, or he was drawing a young woman in the uh, book. I see. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even. Uh, I, I'm just gonna shake my head. At the, um. All right. Yeah. I'm. Uh, she wasn't well, naked. She. She. Well, she wasn't naked, right? She had clothes on. Uh she had clothes on. Oh yeah, it was a clothed woman. This was. Yeah, was these weren't. Woman, these weren't humans. Friend. They were. I don't people. care. I mean, did that woman know she was being drawn? Probably not. We. <laughs> we live in an age of where, uh, to know someone is to consent to such things. <laughs> well. I um, I know which room he's in. If you want to go uh, listening in later, I thought you were better than that. I am better than that, but 
you know I'm not. Thank you very much. Exactly. I'm here to assist my friends really in the end. We've been through enough. <laughs> yeah. So you guys But I will take there. his chair. The chair he was by the fire, I happily take that chair. Nice. So you're gonna sit at the fire now. Next to your boots that which are drying, yeah? Yes. My boots and, and other clothing garments. Sure. While you're sitting there, uh the group of you are three of you are at the table and um Taro is at over by the fire. Uh you notice like the, the the women who work there, they'll pass by the, the gentleman, the bows the bouncer, the bowser. He's a big he's a big dragon, he spits fire and he hates Mario. The bouncer yes. at the door, um, and he uh he's kinda like getting grabby with the girls and making comments. You can tell they just really don't like him. They just dis distaste this man. Um Okay. That, I, I, mm, uh, yeah, I might have some words. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think Sawyer's going to get up, walk over to that gambling table. Yeah. Maybe uh, sit down there and, and just check out, check out the crowd from a different perspective. If anyone looks out of place or just... Sure, the group... You know, after just... seeing that note, we know something's going down in this town in a couple of days. Yeah, just well, well, actually... Me? Actually, in like, uh, no, I didn't. I waited until Cormac came back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I was like, waiting. I was in a day because it was the 11th when you guys were in um, in Lloyd's Beacon. It's now yeah. crossing the next day. It's technically the 12th right now because it's two in the morning. Yeah. So it is now the 12th. Tomorrow, something will go down in this this place. Was the this grabby guy place. being like? Were they like? giggling when he was being no 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 they're oh, like okay. they you could tell they they do not like this man at all <sighs> um and he shouts out to the one of the ones that he, to vivian he goes ah vivian give me an ale he shouts loudly and gruffly and she's at your table and she's kind of oh, she shakes her head she's like, oh, i hate that where's the madam at she's milling about the room she's kind of standing on the stairs watching everything overseeing this whole operation, making sure people are not getting into trouble. You know, if things get a little at hand, she calls one of her girls over, whispers in their ear, and she they think, scuttle over there and kind of, you know, break things up. And I feel like things are getting out of hand with this guy, so I'm going to walk over to her. Um, and, <laughs> and I'm going to say, um, ma'am, is there any reason why you employ such filth? I, do you not care for these women? <sighs> I do. But that there is Diesel. Diesel works for the local gangster, racketeer. So, Mr. Bruno Canard, I'm sure you'll be introduced to him and his men in town tomorrow if you stay for any amount of time. But, yes, we are under his protection racket, and we in turn must have that pile of filth in our establishment. Well, my goat and I will have some words with him tomorrow. I just sort of, I try to make jokes about the goat tattoo at this point. I'm just trying to live <laughs> with it, man. You're always <laughs> but, mindful uh, of the goat. I'm always mindful. And now that you reminded me, uh, the goat smoke thing just came out of nowhere and I didn't make the connection. So thank you for making that for me. <laughs> hey. Anyway, but yeah, I'm just going to go back and um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to figure out who I need to have some words with to get this, to get someone less shitty. Um, taking care of this place. <laughs> so. Maybe in the morning after we sleep. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <Less> shitty. <laughs> That's a word. Um, yeah, so you're sitting there, and Vivian goes and grabs the ale, and she goes over, and he's like, ah, <laughs> come here! And he's got, like, grabby hands, and he tries to, attempts to, to grab at her and grope her, and she goes for her. I'm just her. gonna fucking lay this dude out. I'm uh, being go honest. Ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I know no, you're not no, supposed uh, to fight in this game. No, that's fine. Hey, you're, you're playing your character. You're heroic, are you not? Yeah, I'm heroic. Not and I'm going to stand up for this. List. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, like, I'm going to say... Yeah, I'm, you're made to brawl. I'm going to go up I'm gonna go up to him first and say, Hey there, Diesel. How about you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, we just have a little bit of a brawl. And if I whoop your ass, you leave these women alone and just do your damn job. How's so, that sound? So, I'm going to say... Go ahead and roll me an initiative. Your All initiative right. roll for the game. And this is this is reading here. It's gonna determine what plays out. Gotta figure out where it is on it's the on sheet. It's on the second page of your sheet. Uh let me see here. I'm gonna look 
under talents and trappings, I believe. Initiative. I can never find it either. <laughs> uh, it's roll me a d10 and then add the number for initiative onto it. I, I can't remember yeah, if it's a point or not, but just do it that way. Yeah. That's the easy way. I don't. Do I have an initiative? Yeah, it's on your talents yeah, and trappings. It's eight. eight for you. So d10 plus eight. Uh, okay. Roll high. Come on. Yeah. 13. All right. So you 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 stand up and you you make it audible. You push your chair back and you stand up and you slam your fist down the table and you start, "Oi, diesel!" And you start walking your way over. Um, but he's grabbing at her and she's pushing him off. And um, as you start to close the gap, she turns around, she winds up, and she just sucker punches Diesel in the face, and he falls to the floor in a <laughs> like dead, like right in the nose falls passed out on the floor with like a hard thud everybody in the whole place stops and stares stunned in silence this and is amazing. uh vivian is standing there and she looks down at her balled up fist and she kind of she kind of like clenches it she hurts a little <laughs> she's trying not to show it but uh she just knocked this massive beast of a man out with a single punch ma'am, ma'am. and she lo- and she she, she looks up and she shouts out it worked. It really worked, Marie. And she's saying this over to the to the stairs leading up to the second floor. He's standing there at the stairs, who she's she, she's talking to a woman who he hadn't seen the rest of the night. Standing there is a beautiful Ardane woman, who uh, uh, she is, which means she is not from this region. She is from far away, and she is complete, like absolutely stunning and beautiful. And she's descending down the stairs. She's fully cloaked, save for mm, just the the faintest hint. Of a red corset peeking out from underneath her collar. She's got large brown eyes. And she looks over to Vivian. And she just kind of lets out a, a little like a little half smile. A little smirk. And uh, right away the madam rushes over and ushers Vivian to the back room. Putting a finger on her lips. Kind of like no no more. No more. And uh, and ushers her away to the uh, to the back room. And everybody starts going back about their business. They go back to what was going on and I'm, I'm gonna run over i'm gonna immediately sort of uh go over and well oh, hold on is uh i'm trying to get the familiar with everyone's character names but i don't they're not on the tokens um, they're on the overlay so we've got sawyer uh, who is I, our um our rake no yes sawyer's yes. our rake cormick you are our pugilist taro is our bravo and addy is our highway woman okay, okay. addy okay all right so i'm gonna go over to addy and say Teach me of this true love that you speak of. I have many books, but now is not the time. I, I I'm must to shield my eyes. I must win the heart of that woman. She'll have. <laughs> I will teach you tonight the true and pure way. Thank you. Although, isn't she a prostitute? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Addie doesn't dare look up. She's like, who is she? What does she look like? What's she doing? What's she wearing? <laughs> <laughs> she might be, but that is that is beside the point. Uh, love is strong. <laughs> I believe but, it might be. Did you see how she she cold cocked that, that shit bag earlier? No, I did not. I've been staring at feet mainly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, that's like the worst thing to probably stare at in this period. Too. Yeah. Like, oh, gosh. Dirty, um, gross boots. As you're sitting there chatting, two stable boys hustle up and they start like just dragging diesel outside as as best they can they're they're having a tough time he being this them massive and raid that man pockets. outside into the into the rain yeah. you get rifle to his pockets i'm going to follow them outside okay. and, and raid his pockets and then split the loot with them with the stable boys <laughs> with the stable boys yeah all right all right yeah that's fine yeah you 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 reach his pockets and uh there's not much in there. There's actually a pair of knuckle dusters in there, but you you already have those. I have I only have one pair. I can dual wield. Uh, you there. can I'm grab another knuckle duster. That's for <laughs> sure. For aesthetic. <laughs> and he's got uh, he's got two silver and, and five copper on him. All right, I'll, I'll take the copper and give give him a silver each. And oh, look back. at you! Yeah, heroic man. Yeah. <laughs> the pugilist with the heart of gold. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a it's a bad heart of gold. It's it's gonna it's on the fritz. It could go any day. Oh, I know. Yeah. Because you got the bad ticker. That. I had the bad ticker. No. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, that's awesome. I love this game. It's so good. 
so you go back inside and everybody's going back th- about their business and this marie character makes her way over to the bar and she's kind of standing there and she's, she's kind of sizing up the room and you know she passes by she has to walk by your table to head over the bar and you smell like a very very distinct perfume lingering about in the in the room it's like a lilacs lingering about I believe another prostitute has passed me <laughs> You have quite the nose for prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing that smells good in here, frankly. Uh-huh. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. What? Like, uh. <laughs> I'm sure the patrons of the bar smell like ass. So yeah. I mean, you've got to have something. I mean, and the prostitutes probably... Can you check if our room well. is ready? I, I'm very bored staring... <laughs> Uh, yes, that's just a good question. It's just taking them quite some time. I'll go over to the, the woman I talked to about the room earlier. And, and, yeah, or, yeah. And she, look over to her and kind of wave at her. She comes, she's going back down the stairs. That's the one that was going up there with the linens. She goes, oh, yes, okay. yes, yes. Your rooms are ready. Uh, <clears throat> what happened? What was the uh, what was the uproar? I was I missed it. Well, does anyone else care to explain? Because I, I feel like I might just burst out into laughter trying to do so. <laughs> she's looking. Where's Diesel? What's happening? Where's... <clears throat> Oh, he's, he's been put outside. Oh. Oh, he's getting a little grabby again, wasn't he? I hate that piece of filth. Yeah, I don't think he'll be back in tonight. Hopefully not. Did one of you do something to him? No. No, one of you did something to him. <laughs> oh, she looks surprised. Point over to what was it? She, it was Jenny or Um Vivian. Vivian. She she smirks and she goes, Oh, I'll be damned, it worked. And she looks over at Marie and kind of smiles. What what worked? I, that's what? the second time I've heard that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh nothing, nothing, nothing. You've been training? Yes. Oh yeah, Marie, our, our newest girl, she she showed us a few moves. Cool. Looks like Vivian put them in good not use word. finally. <laughs> cool. Alright. <laughs> 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 oh, room ready, lady. Yes, yes, it's right this way, madam. Uh, yes, do you... Uh, I will just follow your feet. <laughs> Sounds of her feet. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Up the stairs. Yeah, yeah, she shows you. your room is to the left side of the hallway. and You're three doors down. Is that a band? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I did not do that on purpose. As I'm saying, I'm like, oh, you're three doors down on the left. Uh, she shows you your room. And it's a it's a, it's a a room for all of you. It's like a, a shared group room. Um, so she shows you in there. And, you know, it's it's very, it's actually um, decorated quite nicely. Being a brothel. <laughs> Fine linens on the beds. And there's a tasteful art hanging on the walls. And there's a. A tub to soak in in there. And... May I ask you a question? Um, yes. How much coitus has happened in this room recently? <laughs> Probably far too much. <laughs> yeah, she starts. She starts counting on one hand and then two, no. and then she's like, ah. no, no, "This is no, a long no. response. I'm kind of worried." The um, are clean. That's all that matters, right? Yeah. A, a, a lot. She she said she shrugs. But the linens are clean. Yes, I will. Make right. you, I suppose. Why happened in this room? Uh, I, I have a much more pertinent question. I was I trying to... Um, <laughs> this man down the hall here, two two doors to the right. Um, ah, uh, yes. He seems quite suspicious. You mean five doors were three doors down? Oh uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> sorry, ma- mathematics are not my strong suit, but arithmetic. Anyway, uh, I have a question. Um, how long has he been here? Oh, he's been here for a couple days now. He's a strange, strange little man. Keeps to himself, always drawing, drawing that book of his uh, pictures of, of of a woman, the same woman. I don't know. I don't know who she is. Um, I don't know if she. But um, he's he's muttering about that he's gonna meet his fiance here in in a couple of days' time. He's quite excited by that. No, oh, okay. Well, no, no need to squash a man's excitement. I'll just, Especially just about wonder. love. That's very noble of him. Exactly. Yes. Welcome, Pharaoh Ramses. Good to have you here. Oh, I thought I was like, what, NPC? That's a cool yeah, <laughs> Pharaoh Ramses. <laughs> oh, Pharaoh walks in. Take that dude out. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, well, um, 
yeah, well, I'm going to go settle in, uh, go get my bed ready and start settling in. Sure, sure, sure. So that leaves Taro and Sawyer is down there still, right? Yeah, right. Anything going on at the gambling table besides common gambling? No, it's common gambling. Don't, These guys have okay. been drinking all night. And, you know, things are getting a little... Um, Guys aren't playing a little fair. People are intoxicated. They're starting to pass out. It looks like the game is starting to uh, wind down. It's quite late okay. at this point as well. Yeah. You arrived at 2 in the morning. It's closer to 3.30 now. Pharaoh Ramses, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you uh, well, one of the, when one of the girls come by, I'll just put a hand on her arm and say, how long, uh, how long has she been around? And nod over to Mary. I heard she's new here. Marie? Oh, her, yeah, Marie. Yes, she's 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 only been here for oh a week or so. She hasn't been here very long. She's uh quite striking, isn't she? Exotic for this this region. Oh, for sure. Yeah, stunning. Yeah. Are you uh, interested? She's not working, so I'm sorry. She's she's not seeing any any clients at this point uh, she's so new here she's learning the ropes but uh i'm sure she'd she'd be willing to sit down with you and chat with you if you'd like well sure if that can be arranged if it's not too late sure she walks over to marie at the at the bar who's standing there and kind of still kind of sizing up the room and um they talk for a little while and she shrugs and comes on over. She saunters on over and she sits down with the two of you. And you're just struck by her beauty and uh, her thick Ardanian accent uh, when she speaks. And she uh, she introduces herself. Oh, I'm Marie. I understand you. You're looking for, for some companionship, someone to speak to. See, well, you struck me as... Uh... And I don't know if I can pull on. I really don't. I don't have charm. I don't have. <laughs> I don't have much here at all. Uh, guile, I guess, uh, would be about the only thing possibly. Um, says you uh, look a little out of place here. Like you're maybe something more than what is uh, commonly here. Why do you why do you think that? Because of where I'm from? Oh, uh, the way you hold yourself, the way you've taken some of the girls under your wing. Hmm. Just minor observations. She she kind of smiles and what well, is that not the right thing to do? That that horrible man needed to be taught a lesson. Oh, that's definitely the right thing to do. You seem to be quite the leader type. Yeah, I am. Um, I do my best. She's, say, well, she's very, she's very okay. coy. She's she's uh, kind of avoiding the questions. She, again, she's grinning and smiling, kind of when you when um, she answers. Not that we've talked much, but am I getting anything like? There's um, no way in hell you, she is a. You can make you know. both. You can make me a hard scrutinized test. Okay. Well, I'm still over at the fire, probably. So. Yeah, you are. Okay. Do you want me to make one as well, or? Ah, uh, you can. From there, if you're kind of watching, you can kind of size her up. Okay. Okay. Ta. Oh, There's critical my... failure. Oh, yeah. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, you're like, you know what? I feel that she has been trained by the finest madams in Ardania, and um, she is here to to train these girls. Okay, that's what I think. Uh, Taro, on the other hand, you're like, ah, there's something about Marie. <laughs> she, does not, she does not seem like a prostitute. She's putting on an act, and... <laughs> She's not doing a good job. There's something more to her. It's that moment in a movie when they mention the title. Of yeah, the right. You know? <laughs> right. Right, huh? Mm -hmm. I, will, um, I will continue watching their conversation. Um, 
but not interfering in it. I'm just curious because because Sawyer's doing a pretty good job even if he, of of keeping her talking even if he doesn't realize it. I say, uh, do you plan on on staying here long? Myself, we're just passing through. Probably only be here a day or so. She says, no, I, I'm not going to stay here long. Uh, this is a stopover for me. <laughs> um, Bert Ramsey's asking, sorry about criticals. Uh, the chat, there's two of us as Grim and Perilous that are answering questions. And there's both Daniel, the, the, the creator of this game, is, is answering and so am I. So it's a little confusing. So we'll just kind of, Pharaoh Ramsey's, yes. You roll D100 in the system for everything, and you have a target number that you want to roll under to succeed. If you roll doubles on your dice under that target number, it is a critical success. If you roll doubles over that target number, it is a critical failure. So the critical failures and the critical successes in this game is higher than your typical D20 system or D6 system or things like that. So there you go. Dan Daniel's throwing it down there in the chat. If your target number is a 50 and you got to roll under that, a, an 11, a 22, a 33, a 44. Those are all critical successes. Any doubles above that 66, 77, 88 are critical failures. Including 1 in 100. Fun. So, yes, crits happen, and crits happen way more often. Good and bad. <laughs> I hope that uh, answers the question. And yeah. it was in the chat earlier that this game is also... Uh, I was on the wrong one. Yeah. Oh, it's all good, Daniel. It's all good. Um, if you're interested in this game, Pharaoh, I'm going to plug it because you can buy it right now on Amazon for like 35 bucks. Yeah. Somebody can, yeah. somebody can throw the command in there to, uh, to put the link to Amazon. It's 35 bucks right now, which is a hell of a deal. Hell of a deal for a book this size and a game this good. And if you just want the, uh, to buy the PDF, uh, there's an affiliate link to drive through RPG down below. And if you buy it via that link, it helps with the channel. So thank you so much. There it is. There's the link. Get Zweihander Grim Perilous for $33, normally $65 on Amazon. Grimderp.com. <laughs> Derp. Mm -hmm. All right. So back to the action. Um, yeah. So you're sitting there with Marie. So Taro, you're like, man, there's something going on here. She is definitely not a lady of the night. But Sawyer, you're like, wow, she is like yeah, the best the trained <sighs> prostitute I have ever seen in my life. <sighs> All right, yeah, and with his uh, three brass pennies, I don't think he's going to be doing anything. <laughs> no, so... no, no, it's getting quite late. Like I said, it's like three thirty in the morning at this point. Yeah. Things are starting to yeah. to wind down. Uh, you're right. As I as I get up and start to say, you know, thank you for your time, and maybe we'll talk uh, more tomorrow. Uh, any uh, uh, any visible weapons or anything on her? As I'm getting oh, up, I'm that's... trying to. That is a great question, Sawyer. I'll tell yeah. you what. Um, because you're actively looking and you are sitting there next to her, I'm going to give you a bonus because this is usually a harder test, but you are actively looking for this. I'm going to make it an easy awareness test. For you over in the corner, uh, Taro, I will make it... Oh, it will be a standard awareness test. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Nattering. Okay. I need to say, I need some more Canadiana to throw in here. <laughs> 47. Oh, yeah, that's good. I saw the 45. Right. Right. So 47. Yeah. So you get it, Sawyer. And with a 12, <laughs> uh, you also see Taro. You oh, notice boy, nice. um, strapped to her leg oh. is a stiletto. All these damn stilettos. I know. So again, that's a weapon that's it is not it is not an honorable weapon to be carrying around. And by chance, that is I have a stiletto at my side. <laughs> oh, so you do. That's right. But you're um, you're a rake, aren't you? Is there, are yes. you, you playing the rake? Yes. Oh, yeah, so you're yeah. you're kind of a, a bastard. <laughs> no, yeah. A glory. Um, what is it? Uh do we Glorious um, bastard. Yeah. Um <laughs> did we get a name from the guy back at uh Lloyd's Beacon? Did that did the the Herman Truman, the to the toll uh keeper? No, I was thinking more of the um the guards. I'm I'm losing words right now. Uh, 
<laughs> the okay. guards that we weren't think were probably not guards. The uh, oh, the uh, Reeves. The, the Reeves. Yes, the yeah, Reeves. yeah, the crooked Reeves. Did we get a name. On the main guy or oh, no? Oh, you did. You did. Bear with yeah. me. Let me go back. Is something. Winter bottom or something like that. Yeah. Um, winter bottom. It's a halfling. It could be a <laughs> fake name. Though. Well, I will. I will say, uh, as as I'm leaving, it says, um, "Oh, by the way, you seem to be a, quite the traveler. Have you ever crossed come across a man named whatever that Sergeant name was? Winter Winter Halder. Sergeant Winter Halder, and very much be looking at her expression when I say that. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, she shakes her head. No, I've, I've, I've never heard of this man in my life. Um, you can go ahead and make me a scrutinized test uh, if you want. Okay. Standard or? No, it'll be it. No. It'll be a trivial. Okay. Trivial scrutinize. Addy and I are having some in-depth conversations about. Yeah, the two of you are snoring, or you're you're having conversations. No, I pull out a book. It's called the Arctic One. Now, this book is about penguins. If you didn't know, penguins stay with the same mate their whole entire life. (laughs) A little pre-sleep cheese, sleep chat. Yeah, she's completely telling the truth. She's like, she's just like, huh? Like, where, 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 where's this this winter bottom? Where, where is he? I've never heard of this man. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll thank you. In the morning, maybe? I'll just excuse myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the two of you uh, up in the room, nothing. you're just kind of chatting, and you're going yeah. back and forth in the books. Um, and that's that's it. You're not... Uh, you do it. You want to go scope out some rooms five doors down or anything, or are you just kind of calling it a night at this point and wait until the morning to pick up your... Yeah, I did plan on doing a little eavesdropping. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, at least on that guy. See if I hear anything weird <laughs> coming out of his room, you know. I can <laughs> knock on the door and pretend to be, you know, service. <laughs> I don't know if they have service <laughs> in this place. But... <laughs> I, I don't think you understand. I mean, service. Oh, yeah, that's true. Do you have any um dresses you can wear that sort oh, of oh i'm not changing clothes i'm not gonna look like a harlot i'm just going to you know present myself knock knock who's there and then you can do whatever you like <laughs> with a smile I don't, want to, I don't want to punch the man or anything as I, I seem to be one to do i just want to listen in on his room see if anything strange is coming out. well i'm sure he's just drawing that woman which could be me yeah Interesting, considering we just got here, of you, and, he's been, and he's been drawing it for a couple of days, according to the other. <laughs> It'd be very hard to see my details because I've been staring at books, you know. We haven't been here for that long. Anyway, I will go. You just stay here and find me another chapter to read to read to me. Oh, okay. Well, um, don't die. I, I don't <laughs> plan on it. I'm just going to listen yeah, at a yeah. door. <laughs> anyway, so I just sort of get shake my head. Yeah, just yeah. Get up and put put my sockies on and walk down there. Your sockies, okay. Yeah, and go listen. Uh, sure. You make your. Are you trying to be quiet going down the hallway? It's the middle of the night. Like it's getting close to four in the morning at this point. You're just kind of oh, just, yeah. you're just walking, or do you want to stealth? Like, what yeah, do you I'm want sure to do? the creepy the creaky floor is <laughs> something I'm trying to avoid. So yeah, I'll, I'll um, I'll even though the critical fails, so. Uh, like possible i'm just gonna make the stealth check anyway uh, do you want you can or you, like you don't have to like, you don't have to be quiet if you don't want to what's what's your plan here walk me through it uh, i mean well i'm gonna eavesdrop usually someone s- sneaks up before they eavesdrop sure so go go ahead and make me just a, just a standard stealth check all right Ooh. No, yeah, you hit you hit a spot in the floor and it lets out a loud creak oh. as you make your way down. And you you bump into a Taro and Sawyer as they're making their way up the stairs. Like, hey, hey Cormac, what are you doing up? Uh, <laughs> You're just like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, I'll, just, I'll I give up then and just walk back to bed with my head on. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, I, I might wait a wait a little bit until things quiet down a, a bit and then try again. And then okay. if it fail again, I'm I'm, I'm just going to give up that time. Oh, you're going to try again? You want to go back to the room and try and sneak again? Yeah, I'm going to wait 30 minutes and then come back up. Oh, wow. Once things quiet down The again. sun's starting to come up at this point. It's not like 5 oh, in the shit. morning. You <laughs> Never just mind. go to bed. You were so loud. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'll definitely just go to bed. Thank you. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Addie thinks you as she, she pokes her face up over oh, a book, I, right? I just don't trust him. 
Right. Well, we can check on him in the morning. I mean, all he's doing is drawing pictures. It's not that bad. I mean, you didn't say they were nude. <laughs> no, they were not nude pictures. Yeah, so, I mean, maybe it's art. Maybe it's not. But well, all right. Yeah, sleepy time. Okay, so you guys, you guys go to sleep for the night. Um, and it's been a long day. Like you're exhausted. You've been up over 24 hours at this point and you have to deal with the storm and the rain you've had some drinks and you know normally this would be a, a sound night's sleep but it is restless for all of you you guys are tossing and turning you're constantly waking up um cormic for you in particular you have terrible dreams through the night you keep waking up in a cold sweat your your, your dreams are plagued with the vision of this like tall pale demon man thin looking disgusting creature with long thin greasy hair and the whole time it's it's combing its hair with this this obsidian comb and just smiling and you're 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 plagued with this all night long yeah uh well that sucks <laughs> Be because <laughs> yeah, it's <that's> a <laughs> because it's a restless night for all of you when you guys wake up the next morning you're actually going to start on imperiled on the peril track mm. so it's okay. been a rough night. You guys wake up tired and you don't get a good night's sleep at all. You're up by like 8, 8.30 the next morning. Like you've only had a few hours sleep. And like Cormac, you've had an even worse sleep. The strange thing is, so Cormac, you wake up in your bed and you, you roll over and you're kind of like wiping your forehead and you're getting up and you pull the, the sheets aside. And it's the damnedest thing. That obsidian comb that you saw in the dream with that demon combing its hair is lying in your bed. Okay, Whoa. yeah, I immediately just jump up like a scared yeah. cat at that point, um, and just like rattle the the room. I'm sure with my with my weight as I stomp on the ground and just sort of, oh oh, uh, this this is okay. This is the this is the work of pure chaos, pure evil. Uh, jump up, hey, what's going on? Uh, I had a I had some sort of nightmare last night of a some sort of demonic figure brushing its damn hair with a this infernal comb, and then I wake up and it's in my damn bed. That is what we get for staying in a brothel. <laughs> I don't think Just that go has back to reading. I don't know if that has anything to do with I'm the pretty sure it's implied. one plus one equals two. Well, he can't deny it. Uh, I believe that's ridiculous, but anyway, th this that's is a strange kind of arithmetic. <laughs> this is pure evil. I, I, I will not set foot in this room again. I'm gonna grab my things and leave. Let them right. figure it out. Just wait out right there? outside the front door for them to come. Are you leaving the comb like there? Yeah, the I'm not touching that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Did a you... fine obsidian comb. This thing is. It gorgeous. came from my dreams. And yeah, and there's a butt, weird, greasy, so slender <laughs> demon that was combing its hair all night, just grinning at you. So the question I have is this. Are we going to take the comb and tell him we have it, or are we going to take the comb and not tell him we have it? <laughs> well, if we're dealing with you, you would not tell him about it. You would just take the comb. So I suppose just do what you would do naturally. Well, I'll, I'll, I, uh, I'll get dressed and I'll, uh, I'll take the comb. And I'll just say, uh, just don't touch me with that thing. Don't even attempt to brush my damn hair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, that was scary. <laughs> so, what is our plan uh, today? We have what a day until the shipment. You understand, everyone? Shipment. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. We still don't even know who they, they were talking to, or who the letter was intended for. Well, we do talking. know that the thugs named Bruno is the leader. So maybe, and he's also arriving tomorrow. Could be part of the shipment. Oh yeah. Hmm. I do. Li I can listen, even though I'm not looking at anything. Why is no one else alarmed by the fact that a comb manifests itself <laughs> from hell and into my bed? No, no one can <laughs> attest to that. Let, let's <laughs> look around the room. Any, uh, you know, open windows or a chaos comb. muddy, bloody footprints or we are in a brothel. I'm piece. sure there are combs everywhere. <laughs> so that's the yeah. human theory. The witch stone is supposed to arrive, which is like a strange, evil 
substance tied to chaos and things like that. You've also witnessed this demon now this tonight and the waking up to its comb in your bed. I swear this is connected to the shipment. It's possible, but we, no one else had this dream that you speak of. I mean, before the dream, you were in love. So how am I supposed to believe anything you're saying? Listen, how often do people have the same dream anyway? So why are you expecting others to have it, first of all? But second of all, why would this be in my bed? No one came in our room. Do I look like the type to keep a comb, especially one as fine as this on me? If I had this in my possession, I would sell it right away. To feed myself, you know? Well, perhaps we use you as bait then, since the comb came to you. I'm not. I'm not touching it. <laughs> I think Sawyer's idea is a good one. I'll I'll look around the bed and see if there's any. Uh... Like yeah, this. Uh, yeah, just something. Sure. Yeah. 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 No, that's that's good. Uh, that's a good thing. It's a good idea. So go ahead and make me a scrutinized test. We'll make a oh routine scrutinize, and you're gonna toss the bed. And, the sheets and right. the linens and everything and go around the door us. and see if there's traces of anything and yeah yeah where, where was his bed nice. positioned that in the room nice. uh he was uh, closest to the window we'll say okay so look out the window sure yeah you Up go to the window down. the window's locked from the inside it's latched inside the room uh, it hasn't fine. been opened it's cold okay. out remember it's autumn uh yeah. so it's it's chilly out there and you're on the I, second story. I do not partake in touching any of this. So, uh, yeah, to you. you. You do not find anything, Taro? There's nothing in this bed. Nothing happened in this bed. Trust me. <laughs> I'm an expert. <laughs> well, well, is it? do we try to talk to someone? Perhaps they know something about this comb? Or do we want to keep it under wraps? Uh. <laughs> Fawn says you find a hair that is six feet long and goes through a hole in the wall. Do you pull it? Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever you do, you you should keep it under wraps anyway, so that way we don't have to come in physical contact with it. It does seem like a bizarre coincidence. <laughs> Maybe we can right. ask the the madam if there's ever any strange occurrences. Sure. Let's. How about we don't bring up the comb specifically, but we talk about demon dreams. Yes. Yeah. Good and idea. other combs. Yeah, anyone <laughs> practicing any kind of wizardry or something. Right. Yes. Magic, yes. Yeah. Magic, magic is evil. Yes. Magic yes. can't be trusted. I believe the word is yes. heresy. Heresy. Heretics. <laughs> Heretics arriving the night speaking of Fire. magic. And do you want to um, talk to Mr. I Draw women when they don't know about it? Maybe we can investigate his room. <laughs> What if he's been drawing Marie? She seems to be a new person, and maybe... I haven't looked at her. I don't know if she's attractive, but... Why don't we try to get a look she's at his drawing again? Let's try to get a glance at it, and see if it looks like Marie, or any of the other uh, fine ladies here, this establishment. Uh, if, if it doesn't, then uh, maybe we can go and try and investigate his room if, if we want. But again, he's just as suspicious. I mean, there's really no reason why we're this concerned with him, but... Um, so I don't know. I just, maybe we should just keep an eye out for him and try to get a glance at his art again. That's about it. Well, I say the, the comb is more pressing. It seems you seemed quite scared. Yeah. Uh, I would say it is. It I, I do not own a comb. Okay. And I did not go to bed with one. I'm okay. but a brothel, so <laughs> maybe I, listen, uh, I made sure that there were no, you know, contraceptives in the bed or any of the sort so I checked there was no comb there alright I'm not judging your kink is you know it's fine with us <laughs> sleeps with combs <laughs> um, so I guess we're looking for the madam or yeah, yeah, Just yeah, yeah. The mem and also the toll keeper to tell you last night to come see him in the morning to pay, right? Yeah. yeah, pay your toll. He said not to bother at night in this terrible weather. Uh, is the, the barge keepers, or we all have to pay a toll. You all have to pay a toll. Of course you do. Um, <laughs> who's but, in the common room when we go down? Uh, when you go down there, the the madam is uh, is milling about. Um, you do see you see Vivian, who was 
ushered away last night after she knocked out Diesel. Uh, you don't see Julian. There are a few other girls, and there um, are a couple uh, familiar faces from last night, but most people are still sleeping at this point, especially those who are up late like the group of you. We don't see the guy. The, the no, you Rawr. don't see the young man. And you don't see Marie either. I have a weird question, and it's probably nothing, but... Um, we did. He went upstairs, and then Marie came downstairs. We didn't actually see them in the room at the same time, correct? Uh, no, you didn't. You're correct. I'm sure that's a red herring, and I'm making it making it up in my head, but I'm I'm keeping it in my back pocket for later. Look at Taro, the detective. Me, doppelganger. <laughs> ah, double. Who's it? It's a German word, and it's a German word on the game so i don't know fits the theme <laughs> there you go all, all right. right so yeah you guys head to downstairs and there's a few folks around and the madam greets you in the morning and where's the lovely you had a good night penguins penguins what, what was the woman's name that, I, that socked old diesel vivian it was, was uh, vivian yeah good well Where's uh, the lovely Marie and, and Vivian? Are they, are they around? Um, Vivian's here. She points to oh, her. Yeah, She's sorry. milling about. No, that's not good. Not a good start for our, <laughs> for our love. Um, Marie? Um, no, Marie left early this morning. She said she had business nearby, and she uh, she left. Oh, okay. Uh, just go and pull up a seat somewhere then i guess sure you pull up a seat and you can order some some breakfast to have and uh yeah prepare for the day you feel terrible after your night's sleep and you're still rattled from your comb dream yeah yeah madam um i have a question i'm sorry to not look at you in the eyes Uh, i'm still you know trying to get over this place but does people have Strange dreams from time to time that they may complain about. Strange dreams. Um, like, you know, definitely real strange. Not just, you know, something weird, but real strange. Everybody has strange dreams from time to time, ma'am. What uh, what sort of dreams? I don't know. Perhaps demonic. Oh. She's like she's like doing the eyes like all of her. <laughs> but you can't she's kind of see. taken aback and like the clutching pearls. Oh, my. No, demonic. No, that's heresy. Not in my establishment. That wasn't very convincing, madam. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to be more convincing? Or? Look at that. A fawn got their copy of Mangosh. Um, you can make a scrutinize if you want to scrutinize your reaction. That's that's fine. <laughs> you are not very... I'm not looking at you, but you're not very convincing, madam. <laughs> Did you buy your word? Scrutinize? Okay, what is it? Yeah, you make an easy scrutinize. Easy. Okay. Oh. Demon, that's heresy. Not in my establishment. Yikes. We are a heresy whoa, whoa. free establishment. You're you're heresy you're not, free. Yeah, we are a heresy free <laughs> establishment. Uh you're not sure. You're, you can't tell. It can go either way. You don't know if she's be she's playing it up, she's overreacting, or if she's being truthful. You just, yeah, I don't know. I can't read her. Okay, question number two. Is there an abundant amount of combs among the cla- People that work here? <laughs> combs? There's plenty of combs here. The girls comb their hair. Anyone have fancy ones? Perhaps made of obsidian or other rare material? Obsidian? No, that's... No, that is too fine for anybody who here. I don't know of any girls that have an obsidian comb. Much too fine for the pugilist as well. Uh, I just look at Cormac like... I feel like your story is not adding up. Will... Well... I believe it may have come from hell, like I said originally. But this establishment is heresy free since 83. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Well, ma'am, some strange things happened last night, and we're just a little on edge. We didn't get much sleep, so just pay us no mind. We we need to have a bit of breakfast. We need to be on our way. She's right. Okay. Well, you had a late night, the, the group of you. Um, perhaps you could use some more sleep? Oh, no, no. No, we don't have time for that. At breakfast and we'll be on our way. 
if you have any, if, uh, if you have anything that could wake us up, I'll gladly take it. Uh, sure. And she brings over some. Co well, she asks one of the girls to bring over some coffees for all of you. Coffees are excellent. Strong Maybe. as you can get it, ma'am. Uh, I I have one of the girls come over and I give her a, a brass piece. Um, and I hand her my comb, not the obsidian comb, just a regular comb. And I have her brush out my hair while I eat. <laughs> not nice. the obsidian comb. No, not that one. Let's make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, sure, yes. Yeah. They do that and, you know, they ask for some copper or whatever for it, but sure. Oh, yeah, I, I dropped some points in to for the uh, for the experience. Carol, why are there boots next to you? Why are we drinking and eating breakfast? Why is there? <laughs> I see feet next to your feet. I'm getting my hair combed. It's been a long time since I've had someone else do it for me while I eat. After all we've been through this morning, you're getting your hair combed. <laughs> I have to look good if I have to kill someone today. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't come to oh. that. She well, sees the wonderful it, it, obsidian comb in your back pocket and uses it. Oh, what's it this? Ah, oh, demons! <laughs> it very well might come to that. I don't imagine the employer of our friend Diesel is going to be very happy, nor is Diesel going to be very happy. <laughs> oh. So be on the lookout for dealing yeah. with that. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, we don't have to. I mean, it seems that it seems that these women can take care of themselves quite well. Yeah. I think we have business to do. If everyone's ready. Oh yes. Yes, the toll we must pay. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually don't feel like I'm going to die soon because of this coffee. So I'm. Um, let's go. <laughs> It's magic coffee. It's uh, it's cursed coffee. Ah, you find a comb in the bottom of your cup. No. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Demon brew. <laughs> uh, all right. Why don't we uh, head down to the toll keeper? Keep our eye out for every. Actually, everyone that we've met. <laughs> Mary and uh, sure. Diesel and any other. Uh, <laughs> Goon looking guys that want retribution or I feel like that's just standard for Zweihander. Just keep yes. an eye out. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> keep an eye out for everybody. Yeah, so you yeah. guys head outside and again it's a cold, blistery autumn morning. Um it's oh we'll say it's about ten at this point. By the time you guys finally get out of there, you finish your coffees, you chat, you get your hair combed, whatever. What what be it? Um it's 10 in the morning at this point. Uh, you now get a clear view of this this small... Tr it's a trading outpost, um, you can tell. And um, it's a very small place. You're thinking maybe roughly 100, 120 people maybe live here. Quite small. Um, there's establishments all over the place. Uh, but the One-Eyed Jacobs is definitely the largest in all of the town from what you can see as you're scanning this this outpost, um, be it two stories. Everything is like a one-story building. And like last night, you see there are a lot of boarded-up buildings that look like they were once shops. Uh, but uh, ever since uh, the war, um, years ago, it looks like it has taken its toll on this region, and it's not as prosperous as it once was. But uh, One-Eyed Jacobs uh, continues to thrive. <laughs> In this small little oldest outpost. profession, yeah, exactly. The oldest <laughs> profession in the world. Um, you guys head down the street back towards the docks, and on your way there, you uh, you pass a you pass a place where there's a sign swing outside, and it says Lanterman's Remedies. It looks like a like a herbalist shop, and uh, you also pass uh, as you get closer a uh, a general store as well. There's a sign hanging okay. there. Uh, and then you make your way uh, towards the docks. In the docks, there is a there is the toll house where you assume Herman must uh, live. And you don't see him sk skittering about on the docks come the morning. You don't really see anybody here. You see your boat. Uh, you get a good look at it in the light now. And there's a there's a sizable hole on one of the sides, and uh, there are there are men working at repairing it on the barge. 
maybe go knock on the door for the toll keeper. Yeah, yeah, you knock and we don't. Yeah, after a few moments, you go, oh, yeah, so hold on, hold on, and he, he hears some thud, 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 and the door opens, and he looks at the the group of you, and he kind of he kind of squints. Oh, you uh, you survived the night, the one eye Jacobs, I see. It's disheartening, questionable. He, yes, he, <laughs> here to pay your tolls. I yes, it's yes, exactly we what we're here to do. Oh, very good. Well, look, one copper each, and it looks like you'll be here for a few days now. Your ship's in a quite, uh, quite rough condition. Yes, we are the worst of sailors. Yes, you, you are. I even uh, a cask of wine with a body in it r- rolled up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that would be terrible. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> That's not our wine. <laughs> It had the same markings on it as the other tasks. (laughs) (laughs) He goes, well, seeing as how you're going to be in in town for a few days, uh, would you be interested in possibly lending a hand and helping me out with something? Does it pay? It could. What what does that mean? It could. I I do not know. Oh, (laughs) I'll pay you silver each. (laughs) You haven't even heard what the job is. You're asking about pay. <laughs> well, you know, a man has his knee. Um, yeah. You're a woman. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about me. <laughs> I have two brass pennies. That is it. I need money. You're yes. A... Life is very much... <laughs> life is very much risk versus reward, sir. So it makes sense for us to ask these sort of questions. Uh, yes, all oh. my companions are very poor companions. <laughs> no, okay, okay. And the job? The job is, well, see, three nights ago, I caught my assistant, Reuben, trying to break into the money box here of the tolls. So I threw him in the cell back there at the back of the toll house. And he opens the door and he, you can see in and there's a cell back there, a jail cell. And you see a young man lying back there. Uh, he's, he's asleep. He goes, I think, I'm positive that Reuben is working for Bruno Canard, that good-for-nothing gangster racketeer here in town. But uh, right now I can't prove anything. Uh, do you, do you, well, I, I know that there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, a judge coming through here. I sent word for a judge to come take him away and try him and look into what's going on here in this, in this small town and maybe finally expose what's going on with Bruno but I need to ensure that nothing happens to Ruben. I fear that Bruno is going to try and do something in the night before the judge can arrive. And there'll be no witnesses to what happened. So I'm looking for some people to, you know, kind of guard and watch the, the toll house at night to ensure his men and goons don't come here and, and take take Ruben out. Ah, uh, well, uh, we have seem to have gotten rid of one of Wait, hold on, what was the uh, criminal's name? Diesel. Uh, no, the other guy. Uh, Bruno? His boss. Bruno. Bruno. Uh, we, we seem to have gotten rid of uh, Bruno's um, big mean dog over here at One Eyed. What is it, Jax? <laughs> one Eyed Jax? Is that what it is? The name of the brothel? One Eyed Jacobs. One Eyed Jacobs. Jacob. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just getting my names wrong. <laughs> anyway, so we got rid of that goon, and uh, maybe if we throw a little disguise on him and we can keep him in our room over there at one eye jacobs who Ruben? Uh, yes they won't have someone they won't you know maybe they'll come here and there's nothing he's not there well there's you know? a cell here there's nothing keeping him there i guess we could try that uh, it's just we, more fortified here do you really want to involve uh do you really want to involve uh the madam's establishment in all of this uh yeah that is a good point uh, i think we could probably guard it here we, we've got clear uh, vision all around us here because we're on the docks, so they have to come at us in the open. We're over at the, the madam's joint. Just, who knows what they'll do? They'll burn to the ground. I don't know. Uh, that is how, possible. How many stories is his place? Just the one? Oh, it's or, just like a that? little shack uh, yeah. on the docks, a little toll house yeah. that he lives in. It's just like a little one room okay. Okay. thing with a, it's got a cell in the back. Yeah. 
which is the most obvious place in the world for them to attack. That's the, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they right. used to hide them away somewhere. Yeah, that's uh, what I was saying. Take, yeah. Put a, put a wig on them or something and t- take them to a room. Uh, and walk, we could physically watch them there. I, yeah. I don't know. but There's there's no cellar, root cellar or anything here? Or no. Mm. At his shack? At, uh, the uh, toll keepers? No, not his not no. shack, okay. no, unfortunately. Okay. Well, what if we move him to the boat? Uh, I, I like that. that. Yeah. It didn't work well for the last person. We well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not, not talk about that. Okay. Uh, We're not going to put him in a barrel. We'll just uh, have him in a different location. Listen, that barrel was a good idea, I say. <laughs> I was distracting. I did not know he was in the barrel. And the next thing you know, we pop it open. He's dead. Exactly. It was a good hiding spot. You didn't know it was there. Uh, yes, he seemed to really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead, poor bastard. I'm just thinking of alternate ideas. We can use the jail cell, but if we want to try and hide this person, we can move him if you want. I don't know. Maybe we reinforce this old shack a bit uh, while we're waiting. If possible. Yeah. Yeah. You... yeah. Exactly. You look like you're able Does... to hide. And he points to you, Cormac. Does the cell have a window? It doesn't have a window, does it? No, it does not. Okay, good. Is there any windows in this building? There are windows on his, his little toll house, yes. Okay. But not in the area where the cell is. Sure. Have any spare wood, man? Spare wood? Huh? Yes. I, I'm a toll master. No. Well, I don't know. This the shack seems hastily <laughs> built. I didn't know if you had any spare pieces. <laughs> well, wait, wait, listen. What if we use the shack and the person as bait? We let them break in, and when they're escaping is when we strike. <laughs> Who's escaping? What? What? He seems very confused. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should play an outside of. Do you mind if I speak your shot? Person? <laughs> you mind if I speak <laughs> with the prisoner? But are, are we going to take the job? Uh, I think sure. yes. Sure. Well, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Job, but yeah, otherwise, but... you know, you can't speak to him. No, I just want to ask him. I just want to talk to him. You say you're unsure if he works with this. With this, I'm uh, pretty sure other we're gonna get fellow. to the bottom of it when the judge gets to town. Yes, but if you let me speak with him, okay, I might be able to get. To well, you do the job. Prior to that, yes, mm-hmm. I'll do the job. Yes. Just, okay, just let me talk to him. Sure. So he goes over to the, lets you guys into his little, his little shack, his little toll house. It's really messy. <laughs> it's just stuff strewn about everywhere. And he gets over to the cell and. He takes his uh he takes his staff that had the lantern on it last night. He grabs it and he starts poking. Ruben, Ruben, get up! And starts just jabbing him with the end of it. And he's ah, oh, 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 what's, what's going on? What's what? 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 Don't hit me! What? And he turns around. He sees the four of you. Oh, what? Uh, the, uh, road wardens? He asks like with a question mark. You don't look like road wardens. Uh, well, whatever. Just listen to me. Uh, I have a guarantee that if you don't tell us the truth, you're probably going to get hanged. So just go ahead and let us know now if you're working with that criminal scum or if you're not. And if you have proof that you're not, now is a good time to go ahead and reveal it. Uh... <laughs> what do you What do you want to do? Do you want to like... In- Intimidate? Intimidate. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm basically looking him dead in the eye, like sure. as, as sternly you, and as. And, do you put as your as knuckle possible. dusters on, one on each hand? <laughs> uh, no, but to... I do. Pop, I do pop my knuckles a little bit and sort of pop my neck uh, while I'm speaking to All him. All right. Well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I will make it a challenging. Uh, in... right. I was gonna say intuition. Wow. Um. <laughs> That's far off. <laughs> yeah. Intimidation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He goes, whoa, hey, uh, guys, yeah. Uh, what do you want to know? What do you want? What do you want to know? Just don't, don't beat, don't beat me up. What, what, who, who are you? You work with him or not? Maybe. Maybe it sounds like a yes. Uh, <laughs> no one says maybe if it's a no. I typically just say no. But uh, okay, why do you need to work with him? Is it necessity, or do you do you like being a piece of scum, or hey, what is it? 
either you work for Bruno in this place or you're nothing. Yeah, and I look yeah. over to the cor- the doc master or whatever. I'm like, do you hear that? It sounds like he's in a bit of a bind, don't you think? Why send him off to get hanged for something he, he seems to have not not much control over? You know, I'm more concerned with getting to the bottom of Bruno and getting him out of town. He's 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 controlling everything here. Everybody has to pay him money, protection money, and his goons are everywhere and his thugs. Someone needs to finally put a stop to him. And this is the key. This boy here, this thief. Well, I don't know. Do you know how many, uh, I look back over to the, 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 the boy and I'm like, uh, which is funny cause he's like older than me. My character's 18. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a very gruff voice for an 18 year old, but uh, anyway, uh, and he's just like, um, uh, how many men does he have? Do you know? You ask Ruben this? Yeah. Uh, Ruben is like, uh, he's like kind of counting on his fingers and he does it. <laughs> Uh, you head on down to Sigmund's flask. That's where that's where he hangs out with his gang. There's, there's all the place is full of them. Well, seems to be we're outnumbered, as usual. <laughs> so I look back at my friends and I'm just like, uh, well, how do you want to proceed? We've gotten some information. <laughs> Uh, uh, Should we keep pressing him? I don't think he knows anything of worth. No. Seems so. A shame, too, because he's going to get hanged if he doesn't talk to someone. (laughs) Exactly. Tell tell everything. How often... uh, uh, When is Bruno... uh, I'm just going to play like I don't know. When is your friend Bruno... Or is Bruno in town? I'll ask him. He goes, yeah, Bruno's here. Bruno, like you said, he's at Sigmund's flask. That's where he holds court. Full of his men. There's dog fights happening all the time. He's counting his money. Uh, he's here, calling the shots. Well, I the question hate this guy. <laughs> is what? What do you know that they would be willing to break you out here for? I mean, if you're just a mere messenger, why? Why would they care if you were the judge? Talk to you because I can reveal that I was hired by Bruno to steal the money. He's gonna silence me. He doesn't want me to. He doesn't want to get out. He doesn't want that kind of attention here. He's got a good thing going. Well, it seems like he owns the whole place. Why does it matter? All right. So you get a, you get some road wardens in here. You get some law coming on down the river from the nearest city. And they'll clean things up. He doesn't want that. He's got a little empire going on here. How many men do you think he would send after you? Are you important enough for for the whole crew? Or? whatever it takes i i guess that's just that that's a bit too much for us i believe <laughs> herman's like why are you, are you going back on the job <laughs> no no i just uh it seems that the odds are a bit a, a bit more against us than i had originally known oh you, oh, accept, the, we you, said, you accepted the job uh, yeah. we'll uh we're doing the job yeah we'll, Perhaps... we'll just have to cut the odds down a little bit Perhaps we could go to one-eyed Jacobs. The, those women seem quite capable and able to handle themselves. No, also, no. we're not going to involve the women uh, in our business. Well, they seem to be warriors, and that's all I see. I don't... They're not recruiting from a brothel that's <laughs> very <laughs> below us. <laughs> they hate this man just as much as everyone else in this town. And I understand. It is something to keep in mind. They are allies. <laughs> women of yes. the night band together and defend. Yes. <laughs> They're not a mercenary group. Just... <laughs> Did you see her lay out that buffoon of a man in one punch? I don't even believe I could have done that. No, I've been. I was looking at people's feet. I told you I was not paying attention. I just heard uh, it. That young woman, that beautiful. What if we? Okay, listen. Queen. We accept the job. We'll go to the general store. Perhaps we can procure something to set up some sort of trap or something. We need to even out the odds. Right, and look for Mary on the way there. Sure. Marie. 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 <laughs> I believe. Yeah. So you're keep calling Marie. Marie we don't want to get hit with a copywriter. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, is, what does Folkbane do? Is that poison? Poison for humanoids. For us. Oh, I have three. Yeah, three of them, yeah. Is it? Is it like that a... Would... 
like each something? dose does something more. I think three puts you out. I I think I have to look at the book, but is it like a like you drink it or is it like a like liquid? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, you can put it on a blade. Okay. So uh, so we, could, somebody. we couldn't put it in their booze, like at their hangout joint. Mm, boy, I, I, I'd have to. I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. Daniel, help I'm us out. It up. Is it I know. <laughs> Adam's in the chat. Also, those are your ideas. Uh, I'm, they, I'm, they can answer all. Instead of Hopefully us looking right. looking it up and, and slowing down the pace, yeah. <laughs> Chat, help us out. You're yeah. really good with that. Um, okay, folk bane. If subject to one dose, it immediately causes the creature unable to use reactions for one minute. If subject to two doses, it causes the creature unable to use perilous stunts or reactions for two minutes. If subjected to three doses, it causes the creature unable to use move actions, perilous stunts, or reactions for three minutes. Uh, it's not that long. Okay, so I was wrong three on that. Three minutes is pretty long, though, if you're in combat. It's yeah. a hell of a long time but to combat. Oh, I'm saying, uh, in terms of my plan, it's not that long, but oh. in terms of us uh, uh, coating our weapons with it, no, that's awesome. Uh, but, yeah, it, it just wouldn't oh. be effective for to try and get them drunk and then... Yeah. Because yeah, it wouldn't last long enough for, for their rate part, rating party to build up, I'm sure. Uh, but, yeah, code our, we didn't code our what, traps traps and coated poison coated weapons and and high good hiding uh, maybe we could get some old crates and barrels and stuff off off of our ship and and have some extra yeah. hiding spots oh. yeah fun fun sage says roll 20 compendium roll t- yeah wouldn't that be handy if we just like looked that up in roll 20 i could type in folks bane and it would just be there that would be yeah. that would be amazing oh i know it would <laughs> hmm. yeah, if that deal only up. something was like in the world. Someone was like working that. on this. Yeah. Yeah, no, it sounds there's someone, a lot of stuff that needs that could get put in to make some, this. Someone who we played in our cyberpunk game. Yeah. I I know, Adam, I'm joking. <laughs> He's like, it's in progress. I know. Yeah. Like someone who played in our cyberpunk game on yeah. Sunday was working on something yeah. like that. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh well. That would be nice. Pipe dreams. Is, is Wolfsbane <laughs> the same thing just for animals or something? Or is it completely different? Um I'm sorry, apparently I'm the poison master. I have all these things. It does sound like it. Uh, it's all good, Adam. It's all good. Just happy you're here. And I'm missing playing Remnant with you. We need Seems to like get that Wolf's going. Seems like Wolfsbane is something different. When you're feeling better. Um. So, yeah. So, you got this going on. So go, okay, excellent. Yeah, you'll be here tonight. And uh, if uh, that uh, ruffian, Bruno Canard tries anything we will take him out <laughs> are you are you going to help us uh, i'm sure sure and he starts waving his lantern stick around no oh my you're right. just as good as the prostitutes we could hire uh, uh, i think they might have been better so you, did, you, <laughs> you missed you missed the punch i'm, I'm telling you no right. they could be a viable group of warriors that we could well let's head to the general store and maybe we can figure out something to trap these people I have some oil in my rucksack that we might be able to set some of them aflame with. <laughs> I have gunpowder. We could easily do something. Wow. Well, there we go. That's We're a trap. We're just going to start man. blowing up buildings. <laughs> no, we're not going to blow up buildings. Blow blowing. up guys. Just dudes. <laughs> just All right. dudes. <laughs> so uh, he goes, okay, well, you come back here tonight at, at sunset, and we will we'll watch Ruben. Um, uh, you can you can wander around uh, the, the the town. They'll post for the day. There's not much to see here. There's a general store that you pass on the way here, and a and a, and a, and a herbalist. Um, there's a there's a temple to the god emperor. If you want to pray to your gods <laughs> before you die tonight, uh, why not, Jacob? Oh, okay. well, do you do know that you're you're helping us tonight? <laughs> oh yes, he's just waving the lantern staff around again. And uh, nuts. and the the Sig, Sigmund's flask. Oh yeah, that's where that's where that that piece of trash Bruno is. Oh, Are we sure it. this guy's not an agent of chaos? He seems like <laughs> I'm just, I'm be honest. He's just oozing chaos. Yeah, you, you feel like it's infecting you just being near him. <laughs> I, I would like to maybe scope out um scope out their hangout spot a little bit, like the the gang's hangout spot. Maybe yeah, not like uh, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. inside, but from the outside. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So you guys want to leave here and and head back uh, off the docks and back into into the little trading outpost? Yeah, for sure. You guys start heading back in and eyes peeled. 
you make your way back to the main thoroughfare and you 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 get up near the the general store and you start to hear a commotion you you see four rather gruff looking men all standing over this 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 beggar there's a beggar lying in the streets and he's got like a little blanket laid out with some trinkets all over it and these men come over and they kick it and they're standing over him and one of them's got um got like a big player pair of uh, blacksmith's tin snips and the other two of the others are, are holding this this thin frail like just it looks like he's starving this poor baker down he's shaking and they're like time for the taxes fingal pay up time to give your shares to bruno and they're holding him down and they're like we're heading over there or i'm <laughs> heading over there yeah i definitely am i mean i for- I had to get the heroic character for the girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Had to. Them, uh, uh, I have like the blunderbuss. Do I? Have, is it? Do I have to load it before yes. I shoot? Right. Um, I would. I would assume that it's it's loaded. Already loaded once. That it's loaded, okay. And then it, it takes like four action points to load it again, I believe. Which yeah, yeah three which on your turn, like so. two turns, right? And I yeah. A, yeah, I have a flintlock pistol too, so I have a a good range weapon that I'm getting out. Yeah, yeah. So these men are yeah, time to pay up, Fingal. You deadbeat, and they got the they got the snips, and they're holding this guy down. They're like one, and that guy's holding his mouth open. This guy's sobbing in the mud, and he's oh no, no, I don't have anything. I don't have anything left. I don't have any money. Please, excuse me, sirs. Do you believe in love? Uh, just, <laughs> they whip their head around. They got the snips. It's like what the hell? Who are you? Get away! Get I'm out gonna... of here! We're, we're we're doing business. Can't you see? Uh... I'm an aspiring author. I'm writing a romance novel. If you'd like to take a peek, a romance novel? Yes, I know it's not it's not very common around here, but there is a brothel romance. You know, I'm gonna walk past them and try and get to the other side of them. I'm just trying uh, to you know buy time for people to do what they want. Like to get to a flanking sort of um, across from them sort of angle. You know, sure. I mean? So you start to like circle them. I'll say. Uh, then, yeah, but casually, just like I'm walking down the street still, like ignoring the whole thing. I don't know these guys, don't know anything. Do, do, do. And then I'm going to turn around and tackle one of these two. Yeah, so like they turn around, they're like, what the hell? Go away, woman. And they, they're cracking their knuckles. Like, Get lost and we'll beat you up. You're next. They're shouting. Uh, at that point, I will pull out my, my sword and my main, my main gosh. You do uh, have so a main gosh. As soon as I, I see that. At the, at the uh, tin steps guy, I'll say, you, I'm going to kill you now. <laughs> I have right. my pistol up. Shall we enter combat? Um, we shall. I'm going to add all of <laughs> you to the turn order. So your your initiative stays in this game. So Cormac, um, oh, okay. your 13, 13 remains. Cool. So again, right, roll Matt. a d10 and add your, your initiative score that's on the second page of your character sheet. You can just shout it out to me, whatever it is, okay. and I'll add it to the tracker what, for you. What is it under... It's at the very top of the second. I see initiative. I just don't see a number. Is it under it, plus three? Plus it's three? to the left. It of should it. be three plus um, perception mm-hmm. bonus. Yeah, it's initiatives. Like, oh, is it uh, not filled in? Sorry. Buttons. Yeah, I don't have a number. That's why. Uh, look in your look in your front page and look at your per, uh, perception bonus. The perception. It's bonus. in the square box. Eight? Oh, okay. Eight. Eight. Yeah, well, that's huge. And then yeah, plus it's really, three. It's really good. Eleven. Yeah. God. Okay. Yeah, it's phenomenal. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm just going with I, you guys. I like, yeah. I like Jeff's reaction. He's like, what are you <laughs> Damn. And I'll put it in the box. Eight. Just let it know. I guess uh, that makes sense. Oh, I see. There's an 11 right there. That probably is it right there. So I have a 13 total. I rolled a five plus my eight. So 13, 13. total. My highway woman had a 17. Or no. Yeah, I, put the same I put time. it up. My rake, I'm sorry, what was the rake? I'm sorry, 13. Yeah, hell, I could have put that up, sorry. It's all good. Let me roll yeah, yeah. Uh, for my, my thugs, my tea hugs. Like since a 13. We got the same, Jeff, since we got the same time, I am fully on board with just, like, holding the dude down while you stick him a few times. <laughs> if you, if you wanna, uh, use that tactic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I plan I mean, on putting a chokehold on one of these guys. We are the Crusaders of Love. <laughs> Crusaders of Love chokehold. <laughs> I got my uh, Macho like Man that. shirt on. I'm ready. It's like you're ready to play Tiny Dungeons. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah wrong I, shirt. Know. <laughs> I wore the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. All right. So, Taro, you were the you were right up there, weren't you? You you pulled your your what your your man got mangosh. Mm-hmm. And my my other sword, whatever that's called. 
So you're right up there. Sorry, it's a court sword. That's it. A court sword. So you're right up there. I believe in a thing called love. Uh, what do you want to do? You're you're the first to act. You're you're right up in there. We don't have a map or anything. We're just doing city of the mind. It's just a little scuffle in the streets where you you you're, there's four of them. There's four of you. Um, Cormac, you've circled behind them. The rest of you are in front of. They're facing you. Cormac, you're you're to their backs. Their their attention is on Taro, um, Sawyer, and um, Addy at this point. So they're looking at you, Taro, and you're the first to act. Okay, let me double check my. Um... Fencer's panache. If 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 um since both rake the rake and oh, I can't remember the character's name but yeah. about that but um Sawyer 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 sorry uh if both right. of us since both of us have the same initiative could we it do goes. something like uh or if I wanted to come up and grab a guy and make it easier for him to to stab him or something first or is that like I don't know if let's go up for agility how do you do, do oh, okay I don't know how is that how it goes. It it goes by I think perception bonus size perception, perception bonus ties uh, initiative. Uh, I got you. Okay. So I'll, who's I'll got the higher perception right. bonus? Sorry to interrupt. I, I just no. I, I have a um, five also. Ah uh, well, I'll just let you go first. Yeah. All right, know. my bravo. What do you want to do? You've got the you were look looking right at the tin snips guy, weren't you? The black yes, snips. I, uh, I will walk. I'll take an action point and walk up to him. Um, and then I will make an attack with the court sword. All right. So remember, yes, yeah, so you have three action points. Again, this is for having the others have played, but this is also a reminder. You have three action points. You have the combat actions in the discord. So there are like perilous stunts and things like that, that you can do. You don't have to just do a straight attack. And uh, yeah. those have, those have lasting effects. They're, they are good things to use in combat. Uh, that's for sure. Now, Tara, do you have on your character sheet, do you have uh, light or, yeah, because um, I have it, um, lightning reaction? Yes. Yes. Okay. And the reason I say that is that gives you an extra AP to use for dodge or parry. Right. So you, right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So that's yeah. the other thing as well, Evan. So you usually, if you think you're going to be attacked in combat, you want to hang on to an action point for so you sure. can dodge or parry. <laughs> um <laughs> Because you can't if you've spent all your points. So it's always wise to hang on to one to try and parry or dodge if, if you think it's going to happen. Gotcha. So the Bravo and our Rake both have lightning reaction, which gives them an additional action point, but it can only be used for dodge and parry. Right. Okay. I will walk up and I will take my court sword and I will try to cut off his nose with it. His nose. <laughs> Adam said in the chat there, uh, guys, that uh, chokehold, you are defenseless, so they could not parry. So if you do get uh, them in a chokehold, they can't get out of the way. Oh, 11 damage. Holy crap. Um, what? Uh, but you missed. You rolled an 89. Nice. You want to use a fortune point and re-roll. And give Those me are miss. tokens, right? Yeah. Yeah, give me a miss. Um, no, that's okay. I, I will use my... Uh, I will then... Because uh, uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you this. Uh, yeah. We... Will, we We'll not finish it tonight. We've got 20 minutes left, and I have East Coast people. I can't keep them. We'll finish it next week. So it'll spill into two sessions. So it refreshes next session. So if you want to spend one, don't... Go crazy. <laughs> yeah, don't feel like you have to save them. Okay, well, then I will spend one. That's okay. Nice. Ah, skull for me. <laughs> I like that mechanic. It that works is a perfect hit. with the tokens. Yep. That is a hit for eight damage. Unfortunately, it's not the 11 damage that you did previously, but still, it's something. All right, so this is the one of the 10 snips that uh, you took a swing at, correct? Correct. All right, so you connect. You hit him with your, what, court sword? Yes. Slash across. And then I will come at him with the uh, main gauche. I will wow. stick that in him. Um, wow. You can only do one attack. Um, one attack, one round. perilous stunt. With a par oh, okay. So you can do a perilous stunt if you want. Yeah, so. Okay, I will leave a perilous stunt. Yeah. And. Oh, uh, I disarm. Oh. You want to attempt to disarm him? Uh, yes. Wait, of his snips. Yes, I want to take his snips. Okay, coordination test, and the foe must resist coordination or be disarmed. I like it. This is where, up. yeah, making these stunts uh, can really turn the tide of battle because combat is deadly. 
If you can disarm a guy, that that is a good thing. Mm -hmm. 16. I'm... That's what I was trying critically to say earlier. Critically failed! Okay, he critically failed. So you disarm him. Nice. And I'll give you one better. I'll say he's prone, which is huge, but you he got a critical failure. Okay. Um, so I think I think that's worthy. So he's prone and disarmed. Sounds good. I'll come up and uh, when he I disarm him and when he sort of falls over a little bit, I just give him a little push and knock him to the ground. So he's prone. Yeah. Um, when you're prone, you suffer and you're on the ground, you suffer a 1d6 additional fury die and damage. Um, but there's no damage on this attack. So right. he's on the ground is the mechanic that we are giving for this. And one. Okay. Um, cool. Very cool. So that takes us to our highway woman. Addy, Addy, what do you have in your bag of tricks that you can use here between your talents and traits? Uh, with my talents and traits, this thing, nothing really applies. I could do take them down, but is take down, that's just like to prone, right? Yeah, but then everyone does extra damage. Yeah, so Which if someone's if, already prone. If you're but prone, yeah, but there's four of them. Yeah. They get to roll an extra d6 in damage. So that gives but them... that would be with a melee weapon, or? No, take them down, you can do it with a ranged weapon. That's okay. the point of take him down. Yep. Right. Okay. Question two: The guy prone. If I shoot him, is there any penalty for him being on the ground? Um, it's easier. I'll give. I'll make it easier to hit him, and you'll get okay. a extra damage. Like you get to roll two d six instead this of one d six. This guy's the leader, dude. Right? Is that who we're? He's he's the one kind of calling the shots here at this little situation. Right. Addy's thought <laughs> is cut the head off the snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't be able to so, beat the rest. I'll tell you what, if you want to shoot at the one who's prone, you can do it and it'll be um it'll be easy. Oh, okay. And then I am going to take aim, so it gives me an extra plus ten, so it makes it trivial. Oh my god. And then <laughs> shooting is just one action, right? Yes. Yeah. And then I'll use my last action to... I guess I'll hold on to it, right? Just in case. Yeah, just in case they, they rush you. Okay, and then I roll... I just do the blunderbuss where it says the weapon, right? To do the roll? Like, next to the weapon is where I yeah, do it. Yeah, just grip that, yeah. Okay. That was right, okay. Adam says, easy difficulty and extra fury die to pro foes. So, we played, uh, we not, played that. I roll an additional dice. So, so you hit. Uh, and roll me another d6 now on top of that. Okay. Okay, if it was a six, it would explode it, right? So you did right. 14 damage him. Um, yikes. Um, these guys, they're considered like, they're like the, like, like mooks or like easy to defeat guys. So you, how, how do you, how do you kill? What does this look like? You're going to, you're going to kill him. These aren't meant um, to be like sure. hard engagement. Uh, so yeah, you, you, you blast him with, the, what was it, your blunderbuss? Yeah. So she'll uh, aim good. So blunder. The other thing to keep in mind is these weapons have qualities, and the qualities also set them apart. So blunderbuss has sp spray damage, like a shotgun, like it's a shrapnel, I think. Yeah, shrapnel. like oh, like um, pellets. So you're gonna hit more people than just him. Yeah. It's a cone burst. Well, yeah. I'm assuming he's surrounded by his thuggies. Yeah, right? yeah. So I'm gonna say like you you maneuvered because you have a point. You can move also. You're gonna move. Yeah. So you're you're not gonna get um. Tarot with a blast. You'll move up next Tarot and you just unload on all of these guys. Woo! Okay, that's so your 27's still gonna hit them. They don't get the the easy. Um but that's fine. So you do hit all of them. Wow. That's a lot you, of damage. You kill you kill the dude who's prone. Make an awareness test and you avoid hitting allies. So you can do that, or but he also had a point. I, could, I had a point of movement left. I, I only used two actions. So Evan could have moved, or Addy could have moved up there next to, to Taro and shot. So you 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 obliterate, you shred to pieces the one with the the snips, and the others get peppered with um with buckshot. And they're screaming, and they're pulling at their skin. And there's like little BBs and pellets that are underneath their skin, and they're screaming. They take off. They book it um, down down the street, screaming. And uh, 
the the gentleman, the beggar, is lying there. He's like, oh, thank you, thank you. You, I, I, I fear for what they would have done to me if you hadn't have intervened. I believe you would have lost a finger is what it looked like. I, I fear it would have been more. They were Multiple fingers. Dental, dental work on me. And I have so few teeth that he grins in his <laughs> mouth. has just like, there's like three teeth hanging in there. <laughs> I would like to purchase one of your trinkets from you. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he starts like gathering them up and laying his little his little blanket back out. And it, it's a little just like little knickknacks. Like it's, it's mm. everything's like worthless. There's like little rings and... And like pendants and brooches and any any little goats, little carved goats, or anything. Co- I'll know, tell you what. Roll roll, roll me roll me a D one hundred and call <laughs> it out right. higher low, higher low. And this will... All right, all right. I'm gonna say low. Yeah, there's there's a little goat carving nice little in there. Goat. Nice. Oh, I'll take this. <laughs> How much? He goes. Oh, uh, 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 a copper piece. I assume you mean brass, though. Right? Brass, yes, thank you. Sorry, no, it's common. But brass is rare. I rarely see it as a coin. That's cool. Just, just a brass piece. Thank, thank you so much for your help and 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 for the money. I'll hand him. I'll actually hand him. Four. I know this is annoying when D and D players usually do this, but I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> hand him. I'm gonna hand him four because I stole it off of that guy anyway. I'll just give him the rest of the money that that guy because I'm. By the way, I look at it, my character's like, ah, oh, that dude's probably, per- that diesel guy's probably personally given this guy crap before. He deserves it. So I'll just give him the, mon- the money I have left from st- from pickpocketing the mm-hmm. unconscious diesel, basically, which is yeah. four brass left. Sure, uh, sure, sure. Sort of nod at him and smile. Uh, Should you. probably get out of the street to, you know, oh, yeah. you're in oh, your best course. interest, you know. Oh, it I- took me a while to count to four, so yeah, I, I imagine I, I, we've been in here a lot quarter. <laughs> I need I, I need to make money. I'm hungry, and you see, you, like, you see his ribs like poking through the his skin, and he's just frail. Like I said, he's got like no teeth left, and he's just sickly looking. His skin is slightly jaundiced. Sir, sir, what what do you love, beggar? What what is it that you love? I love I love uh, a warm meal in my stomach. Hmm. I thought you said we needed to get out of the street. Now you're about. To- <laughs> I was talking to the beggar, actually. <laughs> okay, I was. <laughs> um, hmm. I understand we all love things, and you seem to have a rough time. And I will flip a silver shilling to him. Whoa! Oh, he he just looks at you, and he's the, like, his eyes well up, and he starts to. Keep mind, I have a gold crown and two <laughs> silver shillings, so. And he says, I, 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 "I can't, I can't accept. I can't take this. I can't do it." I'm- and he's holding it back out to you. Take the money. He's trying to one up me. I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. And, um, Let's take it is... and get out of the streets. We need to probably clear this area before more. You know. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, come. Yes. And he yeah, starts gathering through. stuff up in his little blanket, and he ties it up, and he throws it over his shoulder, and you see him scuttle off uh, down one of the streets. So thank you, thank you so much. Oh, Bye. do you want to um, perhaps pickpocket the dead body since you were so, you know, prone to doing so? Are you talking to... Um, uh, he's talking I, to me. I'm talking to you, yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, no, I just I just felt as though that man deserved it. Well, I guess uh, these men deserve it too, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, Give me that money. If they have a coin pouch that's visible or something, I just... I just rip it off real quick and then leave i'm not yeah yeah there's there, any sort of extensive yeah. he's, he's got a coin he's got a coin pouch um he's also got like a a garish looking necklace hanging from his rip his neck off, you just rip it off um, Beggar's he's, teeth. and he's just got like mismatched <sighs> clothing like there's nothing else on him all right oh fawn Sanders says kill him <laughs> he's dead <laughs> From now on, when I, when yeah. I as hell, from now like, on, oh. fights, I'm gonna have my little uh, goat figurine in my fist. Uh, oh Power. no! So they're saying he's saying the beggar's a mutant because I said he scuttled off. He says he's he's a mutant. <laughs> he's a crab. He's a, crab. <laughs> he's a mutant killer. Crab. <sighs> Wrong game. Scuttle off. <laughs> they're probably yeah. mutants in this game too. Never mind. Yeah. He's got. Oh, it's not the wrong game. If somebody's a mutant. That's bad news, yeah, man. That's right. they, they are touched by chaos, and you must destroy it. Oh uh, yeah, like the. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I remember. Where did this fight escalate in the general store location? Like, uh, is it... it is. I'm gonna say kitty corner to the general store. Oh, I don't know if we want to stick around though. We cause a scene. 
Yeah, well, where are we going to go? There's like three houses in the town. <laughs> there's some abandoned buildings. There's not, yeah, there's a lot of abandoned oh, yeah. buildings. There's abandoned right. buildings everywhere. Like the streets are lined uh, with abandoned I'd, buildings. I'd reload that blunderbuss right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll reload, I'll reload like, on my way. Well, let's go to the general story then. <laughs> Good Bandy Ugly, you're walking down the street loading your weapons and you know, uh, gunshots uh, going off everywhere and cannon fire. and you're <laughs> My weapons are always loaded. Yeah. Uh, yeah you haven't burned anything down yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah yeah so now you're passing by the herbalist store and actually making we, your way down why don't we, we go into the, the herbalist store yeah there's we can all right we were looking for things that might even the odds they might have something in there we need something pretty potent though yeah no like what you've got poisoned well, you have to do it three times to have like severe things but I guess what's the first one like no reactions? That's pretty good if you can't parry, right? Yeah. When we when we're done running through this, I'm gonna tell you like I've run this for a group before, and I'll tell you what what they did with the herbalist and <laughs> weird things. It is yeah. Right, it's cool. interesting. Um, yeah. They went a but little, they went a the, little yeah. chaos heavy. Um, but with the folk bane, is it liquid? Did we establish what it was, or is it like a leaf? What was the which one? Um, I'm sorry. The folk bane was that a liquid or a leaf or? What was it like the? Well, you coat a weapon with it. I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna rule it. We're assuming it's a liquid. liquid. Yeah, probably some kind of oil or something like that. Right. I'm just curious how we would use that. Yeah. Besides on blades, you know. But I think you guys can have your. Well, I don't know if your knuckle dusters can really have it, but we can Close, put our. Closest thing that traps I say we have now is is maybe setting up a, like a little small uh, perimeter somewhere not near like a bunch of flammable bushes or buildings or anything of just like to where we can where we expect like if we're protecting that building we we might expect them to come from one direction or or yeah that one the road or something we could just set up a little area of fire that maybe we can ignite ignite real quick and just set a few of them on fire yeah i have a question so i have a blunderbuss right so i have like a bunch of shot in there like is it like little pebble like pellets right yeah Mm -hmm. what if i folk bane my pellets (laughs) Soak them in it, and then I'm yeah, and then be when, honest, it, when it sprays, that might actually work because blunderbusses are known to just be able to shove anything in one end. And shoot <laughs> it's like somebody. a big horn, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's a big horn yeah. that just yeah. sprays things out. It doesn't really like, I mean, set them on fire too much. Like, I mean, I mean, it might like burn some of the doses or something, but I mean, it might that might actually work. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be it's crazy. Sure, yeah, you could you could soak your your buckshot, your bolt, your pellets in there. I would say normally that probably wouldn't work on a normal gun, but <laughs> blunderbuss is just is different. But a blunderbuss, yes, is not a normal gun. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Junk shooter. I, I, I'm cool to roll with that. Cool. Um, yeah, the herbalist is right near there. Um, like I said, there's a sign hanging outside that says Lanterman's Remedies. We're going yeah. in. Yeah, yeah like Tara was saying, let's head in. You go in yep. there, and there's 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 shelves lined with like jars of like dried um, roots and plants and flowers and such. And behind the counter is like a like a kindly looking old woman, and she's she's holding in both her hands this big giant lantern, and she poof, sets it down on top of the the counter, and she looks at you and she smiles. Oh, hello. What what can I do for you? Where you? Oh, you're new in town. Where you at? We had one eye Jacobs last night and picked something up. Do you need a remedy? <laughs> no, ma'am, no. Uh, oh, just okay. Perusing, perusing. Most 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 strangers in town come here for those reasons. I'm sure. It makes sense, I understand. Uh do you have anything for a toothache? A toothache. Oh yes, yes, yes. Here, let me let me see. And she starts looking at the different jars and such and she grabs one down and it's got some some roots in it and she plops it down she's, oh this this will help with the toothache uh, there you go and she hands it over to you and then she kind of turns away and she puts her hands on the lantern and she starts she starts whispering to it like like adoringly she's kind of all like engrossed and whispering to this lantern um uh how much should I take, and how much would? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> y- yes. Ah, uh, you take here. You take take just a quarter of a root, and you 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 want to turn it into a powder and mix it up into a, a paste with some water, and place it on the sore tooth. 
interesting. I will. I'll hand it back to her. I'm like, okay. Okay. Uh, Do you want some? I'm thinking about it. Okay. And she goes back. She waits till you all turn around. She starts just whispering to her lantern again. What is? What are you? Why, why do I hear you saying stuff? Oh, 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 what? No, what? What else can I help you with? We'll, we'll scrutinize. Can we scrutinize her or something to see if yeah, she's like high as a kite yeah, or yeah. something? Yeah, yeah, if, you can make an easy scrutinize uh, test. If we're going to scrutinize anybody so far that we've encountered, I think it should be this one. <laughs> it should be the old woman. <laughs> Again, I think it's just the fumes and we should just pay her no mind, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sawyer, you. you you looking at her and oh even even you Addie, you're just like you you think she's just a little off her rocker you think you like she seems she's got good intentions she seems like a kind uh, little old woman but uh yeah just maybe uh she's maybe mm, inhaled ingested a little too many uh, of these herbs over the years and it's kind of just she's harmless but she's a little uh, off a little weird like a skyrim do, do, do you carry any uh black powder no how about uh, we have a problem with some bears and we need to take something out? I was any, just going to ask potent, that. Bears, anything potent, bears. Well, poison me, wise? You know, big game or something, some kind of yeah. large creature. Yes, let me see here. I'm sure I have something to kill. A ask your lantern. I'm sure it will know. Oh, what? What are you talking about? That's Enlighten silly. us. Lanterns don't talk. Um, that's your silly. No. I like you. No, they uh, don't. She starts looking around the shelves and. I'm sure I have something here to, to kill a bear. Have you ever woke up in your bed with a comb? Uh, <laughs> Lying there? This is like she combs her hair. I mean, I, yeah, it's all tattered and all over the place. If I fall asleep combing my hair, then yes, I would. Oh, okay. Just wondering. Oh. We had an odd occurrence here recently, and I didn't know if it was commonplace in this area or not. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's strange. You're, you're weird. Um, yes. Yes, yeah, I am weird. Weird. <laughs> yes, I agree. There, there is poison. I have this poison here. This could take down a bear. This here. Why do you want to kill a bear? You know, it's for the prestige. Uh, with for hunting purposes. Normally, you shoot them. Well, I put it in my gun, oh, no. and then I shoot it. Yeah, and normally people pay you money, and you give them what they want. And normally people don't talk to lanterns, so see. <laughs> I don't know anybody who speaks a lantern. You're silly too. What Man, is this poison this is called? Hilarious. Um, bear's <laughs> bane. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> wow, creative name! <laughs> I'll oh, tell you people. what, I will research it next week for you because we're at the end of our time now and I'll oh, tell you um, some perfect. poison that will kill a bear in game. <laughs> Bear's Bane. Bear's Bane. Uh, we'll finish this next week because you guys are like three quarters of the way through the submission. It's not a, a long adventure. So we'll we'll finish this, wrap this up next week. Awesome. Thank you for playing, the four of you. I hope, Evan, this was your first exposure to, to Zweihander. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Um, yeah, it's been fun. Thank you to everybody who joined us in the chat. We had a nice little crowd here. We had fun gifting subscriptions. That was awesome. Thank that you was so awesome. much. Very uh, cool. We had Daniel and Adam and Jen in the chat the whole time. They were here engaging Honestly. everybody and, and, and talking with everyone and helping out and answering questions. So thank you. And Feral Ramses, I think you had found us for the first time tonight. And I hope you liked what you saw. And thank you for dropping in. We appreciate We appreciate it. And thank you. Hey, Sean, thank you for the subscription again. Hey, this um yeah th my favorite probably one of my favorite things about this game is that um I i'm like really crunchy or i'm like really crunchy in terms of preferences and character creation and stuff and it seems like it's got a good mix of that but at the same time combat itself is kind of crunchy but not like in a bad slow things down way and i like let me oh. mix and match these little stunts and actions and stuff together and yeah. get combos kind of way like i really enjoy that like yeah, I, I agree with you. Comet, this is the most exciting combat of any game that I've ever played. Yeah. So I definitely say it's it's there. pretty damn good. I knocked one yeah. guy down and then shot the rest of them, and that was our combat. So. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> Hopefully, more next time. But yeah, I used an uh, back in the day when I, I was just playing Pathfinder for a while. I used an alternate um, rule set that had stunts in it, and it was it was a lot of fun too. And this is just takes it to the next level. I love this. It's just baked in into the core rules. That was just some third. Yeah. That's why it's very straightforward too, is what I like. 
It's yes. Just, they're just like, boom, do it. And there you go. Yeah. That's why I remind everybody when we get into combat, like, hey, you don't have to just attack. This isn't like most games out there. Where it's like, I can walk, I can attack, I can dodge, whatever. Yeah, you have I'm... like a few, a handful of options. There are a lot of options here in combat. And I they ha- do I don't even think game I changing things. Game. Yeah. Like I, knock I you guys prone. Really like yeah, I'll disarming. probably never attack, to be honest. Yeah. Unless it's an attack of opportunity that I get for my ability, uh, clinch fighter, or not clinch fighter, but ground and pound. That's probably the only time I'll ever even attack. Yeah. Yeah. No. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, hey, happy Mine Gauche, Main Gauche, Man Gauche, however you say awesome. it. Happy Mangushe. release day. Mangushe. Mangushe. <laughs> and have a good night, everybody. Uh, hey, if you like Swyhander and you like Main Gauche, you want to check it out, you can buy awesome it down book. below at that link. This adventure is in the back of Main Gauche. So check it out. Have a good night, everybody. And we'll see you. Good night, everybody. Good night. All right. Sweet for... dreams, everyone. Yeah, sweet dreams. Comb your hair. Don't let the <laughs> chaos demon fight or, <laughs> or leave any combs in your bed. <laughs> I'll be back on Sunday night with um, Cthulhu. We're going to do the finale of New York. There's no game on Friday night. I have family in town, so there'll be no stream. So see you all on Sunday. They have can hang night. out and watch. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You all wake up with combs in your bed tomorrow. That's right. Fine. Ah! <laughs> Have a good night. Good night. Yeah.